Hey, what's up, besties? Let me know how the sound is because I did it myself again this time, so that means it's probably wrong. Like, is the game music too loud? Is my voice not loud enough? It might not be loud enough. But anyway, hey, what's up? I'm here on Mothman, like I'm supposed to be, like a like a good girl. Um, I just turned on my mic a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're trying to kick Sasha out because what even is Sasha doing here? Thanks guys, thanks for letting me know I sound good. Is every stream I ever do going to start with that? Not sure. Anyway, yeah, I think we're just gonna try to kick Sasha out because like, I think I initially was like, Sasha's the camp counselor, but like, is he though? Like, why have him here when Marina can do that and everything else, you know? <coughs> Uh-oh, it's gonna be a really gay-ass stream because I just coughed, whoops. Um, I don't know how to kick a villager out, apparently. I thought I did, but I don't because I've been trying to kick him out for like five hours now because um, I really just wanted it to be a villager hunt and he like won't leave. He's planted in his house. He just like refuses to leave. So if you guys have any tips for me, let me know. I'm also going around trying to get more Nook Miles because um, I only have like 15 Nook Miles tickets. I thought I just could do it all, but I can't. I don't know. We'll see how many Nook Miles, I mean, like, it would be cool if we could get, like, what, 20 Nook Miles tickets and actually hunt today if Sasha will get the fuck out. Pietra's wearing a bib. Great news. Great news for everybody on the island. Good, great news for everyone. Um, so, yeah, I have to try to, like, get some Nook Miles, too. Um... Devin, you asked who I wanted to hunt for. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> who did we, like, go over? Who did we interview that one time? Just, like, anybody scary. You know, I was just going to, like, go and see if I found anybody scary and just, like, bring a scary person to the island, even though, like, I have all the scary amiibos, too. So if we don't find anybody, Matt, would you just shut up, please? <laughs> Uh, my husband has suggested that I should hunt for Pete Wentz. <laughs> Can you explain yourself? What does that even mean? Um, oh my god, Mindy coming through. Jump forward one month, stick around 1 p.m. Check, okay, check the plaza, then hit the house. If it doesn't have a bubble, just keep going forward one day. Only checking the plaza at his house. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, thanks. Um, anyway, yeah, appar uh, apparently we're like hunting for pete wentz today hi artsy thanks for driving by thanks for the lock i really need it um it means everything says matt i have turned him into a full-blown pete key truther if you don't want if you don't know what that means don't even look it up i don't want this for you i don't want this for anybody but yeah my husband is fully like at first he thought it was like a little funny shipping thing but he believes now that mikey way and pete wentz have a very complicated history that is very real but yeah I really don't know who I would bring in I think I just bring in a scary guy I just miss villager hunting you know like I think I have a lot of the amiibos that I of people I would want so if we don't find anybody that's like fine I just like miss it which I never thought I would say that but I do so I wanted to just go out and look and see who who comes up who pops up um, let's look at who we have, actually. That's a good idea. Um, Lainey, good idea. Should I, sh I should show. Don't ignore these people. They're here playing a role that you will someday f come to find out. We got Maggie. Maggie's just my weird girl that I didn't know existed. She's my, like, um, slaughter uh, cannibal family area girl because she's like a pig, you know? <coughs> oh, my God. I've coughed twice. Confirmation. Then I'm not straight. Uh-oh. Marina's never going anywhere. Pietro is running the scary circus. We've got Cole, who is just a t total nightmare. Every time I look at him, I, I'm like, ah! I like, I just, a full-blown scream, like it's the first time I've ever seen him. He will never not be terrifying to me. Petrie is running unethical experiments on people and animals at my bad, terrible laboratory. I need two aliens, okay? I don't want just one. I need both. If there's two alien Animal Crossing villagers, then I will be having both of them. So they're not going anywhere. And then Roscoe and Cherry are 
both vampires. Um, so they are not going anywhere because I need two vampires. <laughs> so that just leaves you, Sasha. And you need to leave. You need to pack your shit. You need to leave. Um, so yeah, I guess I need to just try the method that, um, that Mindy gave me to try to get Sasha out. Let's go. Luna, you are so right. Chow is so scary. Chow is so scary. Lime Halo, what is Cole for again? Uh, n just because he's terrifying. <laughs> Nothing really. I just think he needs to be here because it's scary, you know? All right, let's just like head on out. Let's just wrap things up and go like a month. Um, but yeah, J Cole's just here because he scares me to the deepest parts of my soul. Ash, I know. Yeah, bring the robot, lol. That is something I think about sometimes. Is my dog wanting to come in here? Is that what I'm hearing? Outside, Oliver. Sometimes he just like, he's crazy. <laughs> He'll, like, want to come in, but then he'll be mad because the door doesn't stay open. It, like, shuts, and he can't get it open. Did it say it was saved? Probably, right? Whatever, yeah. If it isn't, wait, hold on. Yeah, it, it did. <clears throat> anyway, like, if I let Ollie in, he will get mad that he can't go in and out as he pleases, and it's really annoying. But also, I love him. I love him so much. He'll probably eventually get his way. Oh, wait, no, a month. Okay, a month, not a day, <laughs> you know? And then let's just, like, make it closer to the evening just for the vibes, you know? Okay, a whole month, and now we're going back, and everybody's going to yell at me, but I guess it's worth it. Hmm, just a dragon. I don't know why you don't have the robots, though. What is scarier to you? Nothing, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> You're so right. It's like, I, I I guess there's like a little piece of me that still wants like like drama and like unrest. And if I see Marina talking to the robot, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, is she like, is she really doing this right now? I'm going to be like, oh, she must be like setting him to clean her room or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just can't accept them as members of society. I don't know why, you know. Oh my God, Marina, or Marina. I just called you Marina. I guess that's probably a compliment. Maria, I think shadow entity for Cole. You're so right, a shadow person. You're so right. Whenever I hear anybody talking about a shadow person, I just get so happy and excited because I saw shadow people, if you remember. I talk about it a lot. Actually, I don't think it's been, a, I think it's been a long time since I talked about. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of gay, so I, I cough and clear my throat sometimes. Anyway, um... If you don't know what, I'm referring to a inside joke that we made because one person <laughs> told me to stop coughing and I took it so hard that I wouldn't let it go. <laughs> and now we just, I have to call my, myself out every time I cough. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, one time, just one time. I had sleep paralysis. Like, why just once? Actually, I don't want it ever again. It was horrifying. I always, like, tell the stories if I loved it. I hated every sight. It was horrible. It was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It was terrible. But I did see the hat man, you guys. I know. I saw the hat man. And at the time, I did not know it was the hat man. I knew nothing of this. Who's, whose birthday did they say it was? I didn't read that. Whose birthday did they say that it was? Is this somebody's birthday? But yeah, I saw the hat man. Um, wait, it's only been a month. Did I accidentally do a year or something? Or does your hair go like that after a month? Does your hair go, like I'm just familiar with that happening after a year. Is he calling me because I have been away for five years? Can you shut up? I'm not doing it, Tom Nug. Oh, 15 days, okay, thank you. Anyway, yeah, the hat man is basically obsessed with me. He was there. He came into the room. He opened the door, and he was, like, slowly coming into the room. And I thought it was, like, Jeepers Creepers or something for some reason. Why am I checking my mail? I don't have time for that. It's raining. It's pouring. Oh. But, yeah, he was coming into the room, and I didn't. I had no idea about the hat man thing until I made a video months later. Everybody's got their umbrellas out. Maggie, how practical of you to have that umbrella. Do I have any umbrella codes? Because I don't really have like an, um oh, I have this. This is cool. 
This is fucked up, right? Whoa, fucked up, Uzumaki, right? Yeah, um, I did see the hat man. He was coming into my room and I was like, oh, fuck. Even though I saw a bunch of scary, like way scarier stuff than just like a big dude with a hat on, for some reason my brain was like, no, that's the worst. That's the worst one that you're gonna, oh wait, did we just see Sasha and he was out and about and not wanting to leave? Is that what I saw? Didn't I just see him? I feel like I saw his face. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. What do I do? Do I leave? Do I keep going? <laughs> Sasha. Well, actually, uh, Mindy also told me to do 1 p.m. <laughs> and I purposely went out of my way to make it 6 something p.m. Yeah, didn't I do that? Didn't I do that? Let's see if there's any easy little Nook Miles things I can, I can do and then I'll just go to the next day. Okay, yeah, I can talk to the villagers. I can probably do like pick mushrooms, talk to villagers, and maybe visit the roost. I really don't want to though. Hey, Petrie, you don't need an umbrella. You're too cool for an umbrella. <laughs> what? It wasn't that long. What? Oh my god, she's freaking out. She's hysterical right now. Stop. Stop this. What? No, Amanda. Oh, you came back, but where on earth did you go? It's been just one month stop <laughs> when you're not on the island i swear nothing is the same it's just awful you're right about that i will say that you are right about that i don't enjoy painting landscapes like i used to oh my god i'm sorry and vanilla gelato doesn't even taste sweet anymore oh my god petrie i'm sorry oh my god i'm sorry but i was so lonely while you were away did she think that like I don't know. I think she's gotten the wrong idea for me. I didn't think we were that close. Hey, Sasha? Um, why are you still here? Yeah, I think the Petrie uh, has fallen in love with me. I get it, but, um, you know. Shut up. I don't care, Sasha. You know, I love Sasha. I really do. But I, he needs to leave. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, yeah, I got to just talk to a few more of these knuckleheads. There's Maggie. Everybody's screaming in my face. Yeah, one month. is It's not a big deal. A little more grown up, really? After one month. Hello? Okay, guys. Enough with this. It's not that big of a deal. I'm supposed to what? Like, just spend every single day with you guys? Really? Really? Okay. Anyway, um... I guess it's not going to be today, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, I can do this, too. I can definitely do that. Yeah, and like, I guess, I don't know. Is there mushrooms about? Is there mushrooms afoot? Really? Are they going to be easy for me to pick? How many damn mushrooms do I need? Where's the mushrooms, people? I think we scared the mushrooms away. Where's the mushrooms? I do like Petrie, though. I like her. I love her, in fact. I think I could see myself with her long term, for sure. Yeah, there's no mushrooms out here. I'm not doing this. I'm not like doing this. I'm not gonna go full force looking for these mushrooms. I'm just not. I just don't have time. Like, where would the wouldn't they be right out here if there? Oh, there's a mushroom. There is mushrooms. <laughs> this is Mothman. Yes. Yep. We're on Mothman. I'm just trying to kick Sasha out, and then I just have no idea, honestly. Like, I have no one in mind, <laughs> honest to God, no one. I just wanted to go, I just miss villager hunting, kind of just want to go out there and see who shows up. I don't even have really that many um, tickets, to be honest. I can't go over to the left because that's, like, a, a work in progress. I'm making, like, a build video on that, so I don't want to spoil it. But, um... But yeah, I just want to see if anybody spooky, scary, creepy shows up. And like, even if I take someone who I have no plans for, I do have a lot of amiibos for scary people. So, um, yes, I did the, I did the mushrooms. Cool. Cool. Ash, you're right. Maybe Hopkins. I know. Like, where would, would Hopkins be like, like a prize that you win or something? Oh my God, Kurt, thank you so much. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you for the super chat. I love you. I'm glad that so many of you could make it. Um, yeah, I gotta go like redeem some miles in order to, cause I like need miles. 
in order to have some Nook Miles tickets because I think I only have 16. That's like not a lie. I want at least um, 20, you know? Whoopsie, I just hit my microphone. Yeah, so I think we're uh, we're just gonna have to go. Oh wait, oh no, I had like a streak going. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Do I have enough? Okay, cool. So I have enough for one more Nook Miles. Now we have 17 Nook Miles tickets, cool. Oh my god, Mindy, you're so right, Rattle. You know I love Rattle so much. Wow, yeah. Rattle is a possibility, even if just for a little while, you know? I think maybe, like, maybe I'll just force myself to take the first scary villager. So if it's a robot, then I'll just take a robot. Wouldn't that be terrifying, though? Amy, thank you so much for the super chat. Aw, you're so sweet. I love that. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I guess I have to go. Wait, let me just check the shop really quick to make sure that I don't miss out on any, any like, awesome deals. Sai, you asked what type of frog is Rattle based on again. That would be a um, bl uh, yellow and black or like bumblebee as people call them, uh, poison frog. Or a black and yellow, I think is black and yellow poison frog. Yeah, yeah, they're so adorable. So cute. You guys have nothing again? Just nothing? Okay. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Sierra, what story of seasons part two went? I know. I have. I love it. I love it so much. I have. I'm gonna stream it. I think next time I play it, because I just want. I just want to do so much in that game with y'all. I love it. It's so good. It's so great, actually. Um. Yeah, you guys have nothing I need. I think right now. Yeah. Oh my god. What if I did find Dell Amber? Ugh. Oh my god, Hannah, yeah, the backwater clinic. Oh my god. That would be awful. Mr. What's his name? The guy who, who runs the backwater clinic. Gaston, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I could just I could just like I could just run into anyone, you know, at any time. It would be awful. It is just raining and pouring out here. Oh my god. I should just should I just go to wait, stop. No, keep playing, because I should probably go to Brewster and get a coffee, right? That's like an easy one. That's like such an easy one, and it's times two. I have no excuse. Yeah, let's go in there. Can you believe I'm complaining about Brewster? You remember when we were on our hands and knees begging and pleading for Brewster? And now, like, I'm complaining about it? It's crazy. Wow, you're actually awake. Oh, because it's nighttime. Cool, good for you. That's fine. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm glad you guys all love the story of seasons thing because I'm like so obsessed right now with it <laughs> it's not even funny I can't like put it down honestly yeah and I actually okay I'll I was debating whether I should tell you guys this I'm so addicted to it that I have a save file that I'm saving to do with you guys and I just went and married someone else and I did I'm like on your three I think on another file but I just I'm plowing through it and it's I married someone that I that I didn't really want to marry that like I saved like the people I love for you guys like the real drama and I'm just kind of doing I'm just kind of plowing through it to get it out of my system <laughs> um but yeah you'll you'll find out who I married and who I am okay yeah Brewster yeah but I just needed I can't stop playing it and I wanted to play it with you guys so I saved the better love interest for you guys and um <laughs> dork i am literally taking care of my worthless husband matthew as we speak <laughs> me every day i'm just kidding no my 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 matthew in this life is not worthless but i can i can sympathize with your worthless husband matthew in the game <laughs> i get i get you Anyway, did I get the points? Wasn't it somebody's birthday today or something? Whose birthday is it? I just didn't read it. But yeah, I like can't stop playing it. So I um just need to, but I'm, again, I, my heart's not in this playthrough that I'm like plowing through. I'm saving like the people I actually want for you guys. So, so you know. 
And I'm also learning how to play the game so it's not as uh, much of a like slog and that you guys don't have to like watch me like stumble through and make stupid mistakes, you know? Because I feel like I'm like an old pro now. Oh my God, Vi, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, that was kind of me with, with Celia or Cecilia, I guess. Did, and I, found, I realized that they did change her name. I wasn't wrong for calling her Celia. That was, and I'm, I'm not, I'm still not sold 100% on like not Cecilia, but I get it. I get it. Right now I'm very torn between Molly and Celia and Nami is also up there and like, you know, Matthews exists and <laughs> what, what else was I going to do? Nothing, nothing else. Um, is there anything I can do that's like quick? Yeah, I could buy, I could definitely buy some shit, but like what? What should I buy? I should just go in there and buy some shit really quick. And then I really have to go to the next day. Oh, it's Roswell's birthday. Connor coming through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. What do I buy? I'll buy this. This could be good for like my little, my little, um, the Lost Boys like pier thing. Oh my God. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get me. I haven't seen them all yet, but uh, the Matthew cutscenes, yeah. <laughs> so, what is going on there? We'll talk about it because something is angering me about that situation <laughs> quite a bit. And, like, it is, it's hard. There's a lot of hard shit in that situation. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm. Fine, I'll just tell you guys, I did marry Matthew in the, I'll just, yeah, I'll just dump because I need to talk to somebody about it. <laughs> so I did marry Matthew in my like just running through playthrough because I was like, whatever, you know, I'll just marry the fucking dude and just do this like run through playthrough because I know it's like, and I swear to God, like, I hate it. Well, I don't hate it. He's fine. Like, he's fine. He, every once in a while, he'll say something or do something. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. But the way that he still, like, is obsessed with Celia, it kills me every day. I just know that he still loves her and is, like, want, and is, like, regret, like, he just settled with me. I hate it. Like, every time I, like, every day I find him out there on the farm and I'm like, what are you doing out here? You don't work here anymore. You got a farm right across the fucking river that you, that I need help on. What are you doing? It hurts. It does hurt. I won't lie to you. I think that he just is obsessed with Celia and I just will never be enough for him. <laughs> it hurts. It does hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it does hurt. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to marrying someone better than that. Um, I literally love the game though. And the, the thing with like the Matthew thing is like, you know, whatever, just shut up, I guess, be my husband, sure, I, like, love the dynamics with the kid, and I just love the farm life, I just love the farm life, I love, like, breeding the animals and putting them in the little thing, and just figuring out which of my little animals I'm gonna breed and stuff, what am I doing, oh, yeah, I just need to leave, I think, right, I don't think I bought enough, did I not buy enough, no, I did. I just completely blacked out and forgot. Oh, I have shells for this purpose, specifically. I have shells. Do I have enough shells? We'll see. Anyway, yeah, he just sucks because um, he's just really weird about Celia. And you just always feel it there festering between you two. Um, but I love the, I just feel like such a farmer. I love breeding my animals. I love them, like, I love taking care of the babies and, like, watching them grow and stuff and... I just love it. I love it so much. Um, and I love like the um, like the baby cows and stuff. And like I just have my cows that I love. Um, I wish the sheep were not pink. That's for sure, Drew. Yeah, the sheep redesign is kind of baffling. I just don't really get it. Like what? <laughs> what, what was wrong with the old sheep, you know? Just a little weird to me. But, um, but other than that, like, I just love it. I love my farm. And I love, like, digging for treasure every day and making money and stuff. I just love it. It's out of, like, all the farming games, I think it's the I just love the mechanics of it. I really do. It's, like, the most realistic, you know? 
I really, I really feel that way. Anyway, I think I'm finally gonna allow myself to just leave, so. <clears throat> the goats are so precious, yeah. Yup. Let's see here. Um, oh my god, Vi, you are hitting so hard. I agree. I think that the horse was better in the old game. It's so weird. Like, the way that, like, it runs, it looks weird <laughs> to me. And I feel like in the original, it looked great. Like, I liked its big, cl like, clunky feet. And I just like, I liked it better in the old game. And now I, did it save? I never pay attention. I think it did. Yeah, I must have. The new one just isn't as good. Um, I like, yeah, I like that it, we can pick the color. But I just can't believe that they changed the design for the worst. You know? Um, anyway, uh, another day. So we're just going for another day. And then let's just try the 1 p.m. thing. Just like, just to say we did, you know? probably an easier way to do that but i don't care yes oh my god exactly vicky they it's just weird it's clunky this time it used to be smoother you're right the horse it was weird and yeah the ocean waves i agree i'm kind of like salty that um that they took my bar away i liked the bar <laughs> I just like to have a bar in my town. And then Molly, like, what is she? Uh, you're telling me that she works at a cafe? She's a bartender. Come on. She works at a cafe and she's dressed like that. And, like, this cafe, quote, unquote, that they have is open, like, super late at night and stuff. And it's just like, shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> it's just weird, you know. Why did they change it? They just didn't think we could handle it being a bar, I guess. I don't know yeah yeah same like or well I do drink in real life <laughs> ocean waves but like I prefer the atmosphere of a bar too I do you know when they act like it's a bar everybody's like oh I came here for because I need a drink after a long day and it's like a drink of what lemonade a drink of coffee what are you talking about it's just kind of funny kind of goofy you know but I really do love it so much it's so addicting so addicting and I just love the townsfolk and um I just yeah I think the next I just didn't want to like overload the, you guys with story of seasons but I think next time I stream I'm going to stream it for sure actually definitely because I'm sick of Matthew <laughs> and I just know I'm going to finish it so quick too because that's another thing with story of seasons that's sad or like well this one is that you do finish the game like and then it's over and that sucks a lot and like people grow up and it's making me sad like it makes me sad when my kid has grown up oh cool I have a, a, a like a thing at the thing yeah a campsite villager um yeah so it's just so yeah I know I'm gonna just breeze through that and then I will just be happy to have another chance at life where I don't need Matthew anymore and he can just be forever alone Thank you. Thanks, boys. Who's over there? Why did I say that so weird? Anyway, that's Pietro. Yeah. My baby. I haven't gotten... Oh, my God. Age caps. I, you have wrinkles now. Oh, that's going to be hard. Not that the wrinkles are not... You know, it's just hard to watch yourself age in, like, a fucking week. You know? It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> oh, my God. I love when you wear these alien glasses. Ah, she looks so good. She looks so good right now. She wore the alien dress and the alien glasses i love you good for you good girl anyway who wants to leave sasha what are you doing he's fishing <sighs> not good what am i supposed to do like just wait for him to stop fishing okay cool I can do that I am not getting my ass in the water today wait it's worth five times though I guess I should and it's only three I guess I probably should right uh, I don't want to but I should I really should what's up girl hey how are you yeah I agree yeah days like today oh a vampire singing in the town square crazy 
Um, oh no, it's Mackenzie. What do you think about analog horror? I'm obsessed with it, about uh, all of it. I've, I like binge everything to do with the subject and every piece of it. Yeah. What? You are not. Shut up. I was waving my arms to get your attention, but my back started hurting, so I stopped. What? What are you talking about? What? Then there was the other time I was calling out to you until I went hoarse. So you're telling me Ross goes, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Like he's at a concert until he lost his voice. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt it. What? He was screaming my name for days on end to just tell me that he's doing good. Okay. Okay, Roscoe. <laughs> sure. It's a little much, dude. I really don't think any of that happened, if you want my honest opinion. So dramatic, Sydney. You're right. Okay. Sell clumps of weeds. Ugh, fine. But first... I don't think I have a wetsuit. I think I need to like go buy a wetsuit. And if I do, I just don't want to get it out. <laughs> Here we go. Hi boys. Hey boys. Hi. Cool stuff. Cool stuff that you have available here. But unfortunately, I just need to get a wetsuit and be out of your hair. Where's your wetsuits? Don't you sell them here? Where's the wetsuits? You guys don't have them? Okay. Gigi, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, yeah, as of right now, Jade is a vegan. Um, and obviously we know how to, how to do that in a way that's like super healthy. Um, and she gets everything she needs. And, you know, her pediatricians are all aware of it. And she's like doing great. I actually just took her the other day, Friday, to the pediatrician. And... They are like, oh, you know, she's so healthy and like she's still vegan, right? Cool, awesome. And she gets this and this. And so <coughs> I know there's like a stigma around like parents pushing veganism on their kids. <sighs> it's abuse and stuff. But like we just don't, why would we go out of our way to feed her stuff that we don't eat? You know, she doesn't need it. Like you can have a healthy life without it. Um, and basically the way that we're looking at it is like as she gets older, you know, we're going to talk to her about like why we do that as a family but you know obviously if she comes to her own conclusions and she wants to try stuff like she's not gonna we don't she can do whatever she wants she doesn't have to be vegan obviously and um you know if there's ever things like that she wants like if she's at a friend's house and they have like pizza or something we're not gonna make her sit there and not eat like she she's allowed to have that and if it is like her own like, if it matters to her to, to be vegan, then we'll make sure that we help her with, like, accommodations and that so that she has stuff and whatever. But, you know, she'll be able to just make her own choices and, and stuff like that. Like, I don't think that we would go out of our way to, like, cook up food, like, cook up steaks and fish and stuff because we don't even know how to cook it and stuff. But if she likes non-vegan stuff, then I'll buy it for her. I, I just, you know, it's not going to be a thing that we're like forcing on her or anything but we just right now just that's how we're used to eating and so why would we change it if she doesn't eat it um so yeah that's what that's what the sitch is right now let's put this on even though it's kind of embarrassing liz p thanks so much for the super chat um i love horror games yeah i've never heard of corpse party though oh my god don't look at me when i'm in this wetsuit i had no choice Gulliver, don't even I'm not doing it i'm not doing it today how do i get in here okay anyway i've never heard of ghost party or corpse party <laughs> corpse party that sounds obviously like something i would i'd love to go to a corpse party i don't know how i haven't heard of it yeah what is it about so oh, come on now we've got this guy out here trying to waste my time but um <clears throat> yeah i love horror games i love like the resident evil games whatever dude yeah take it i don't care i love the um last of us games so much there's a bunch of other horror games i love um outlast and uh like i love like survival horror games but um cool pascal yeah he's a sweetie but i just wasn't really in the mood what what are you talking about? Okay. Thank you for truthing me. Thank you. 
He's a sweet guy for sure. Yeah, everybody's like, can't believe that I, that I haven't played Horse Party, huh? What is it about? Like, what is it? I will definitely check it out if you guys feel that way. So I got, what, one creature? Does that even count? Come on, don't make me do this all day. Yeah. You guys have already humiliated me by putting me in this thing. Oh, here we go. No, that's a fish. Where's all the creatures? Come on. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Cool. Good. Good, good, good. Nope. Not good. Because I forget how to do this. Because I haven't done it in so long. Stop. You got to swim when you're down there. Right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Awesome. No, wait, that means pa Oh, he's not. Okay, so he got his scallop for the day, and so he's not going to come back. Good. Very good, good. Come on, get him. Get him. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Yes. All right, I think that's three. Good. Oh, an octopus. Cool. That's all I gotta do? Then I'm out of here. Then I am out of here. <clears throat> nope. That's not it. Cool. Alright. Sweet. That gave me a lot of miles. Good. Now get the hell out of here. Hi, Tommy Quinn. Thanks for popping in. Glad to see you. Hi, Mare. All right, I'm just gonna pick up shells in case I cannot stand another second in this stupid wetsuit though, come on. Get me out of this thing. Oh good, and they preserved my outfit underneath, thank God. Thank God. Um, just pick up a couple shells and then, I guess I gotta go to it the next day, right? Do you think I should just go to the next day or wait for like someone to wanna move? Oh yeah, there's this, I would've forgot. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> stop, who is this? Truffles, oh my God, truffles. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I'm Truffles. You live on this island, right? No. No, I don't. No. Nope. Get out of here. Yeah, no. Not for me. I mean, scary, but... Uh, <laughs> scary, but not really what we're, like, looking for. We just don't really have a place for you right now. Truffles. Thank you, though. Thank you for applying. <laughs> Where's Sasha? Sasha! Roscoe's still singing his heart out, his heart and soul. Hmm, Sasha. He's not fishing anymore. That could be trauma promising is what I was going to say because I maybe was trying to say traumatic. Promising. Chop wood. My trees can't take anymore. Come on. Sell weeds. Ten flowers. Okay. Liz P, thanks again for another super chat. Chorus party is a group of friends get stuck in a haunted high school and fight against murderous ghosts and lose their minds doing it. Oh my God, that does sound right up my alley. That sounds like a terrible situation that I would love to become privy to. Wow, a haunted school, that sounds awful. Hmm, what was I doing over here? Oh yeah, tend to the flowers. Tend to the flowers, let's open this thing up. <clears throat> Cool, thank you, thanks, thank you. Oh, okay, S S the Sasha 86, did you see um, Sasha fishing? Cause I just can't wait for him to wanna leave. Um, yeah, let's tend to the flowers. Gotta start selling some of this shit. Cool, yep. When are you gonna release me? Am I gonna get, do I get credit now? How many t flowers do I have to tend to? Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> there we go. 
graffiti munchlax why not kick out maggie she's kind of non-eventful well she has to be on my like because she's for the like scary haunted texas chainsaw massacre farm so there needs to be at least someone out there i like don't know how to put my yeah i don't know how to put this away without watering shit how do i put it away no 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 that's clearly not the button hello okay there we go there we go no no that's not it either i think you have to go to it yeah look there we go there we go all right um no nope, i just didn't do that no i did <laughs> i took out another one idiot anyway um did i do it did i get the points i did cool and then now what i have to plant more fruit trees chop wood sell oh you guys are killing me let me just go check on i think i'm just gonna need to go to the next day again with sasha this is hard yeah he's like somewhere fishing where is he where is sasha hmm there you are and you're just standing there like you're not doing anything wrong really oh i've heard good things about night in the woods yeah i gotta check that out and oxen free heard really good things oh well n no no now he wants to talk to me shut up oh you said hoppity again i've been trying to why not why what it works for you i don't care i'm not investing in you right now yep whatever yeah maggie's like looking on in horror because she knows how bad i want him gone huh should I wait? No, I guess because like if he's not doing it, then he's not going to, right? Is that is that the move to just go to go to the next day? Probably, right? Maybe I should go get some weeds real quick because I know that I got some weeds up there. I'm just gonna go get some weeds, sell them really quick, and then I'll go to the next day. Because like, look at all these weeds, dude. Come on, they're just begging for me to sell. Look at Pietro like made that pie confirmed, you guys. I gotta put like a ladder up here. Go up. And then like look at all these weeds just begging to be sold for enough points. What is Pietro doing? He's standing out here like selling his pies. Uh, what? Okay, selling his pies. Something tells me that they're not very good pies. If you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying, Mr. Truefax. Really some Mrs. Lovett behavior going on currently. All right, I think I have enough to sell for some points. I'm out of here. Pietro, I want nothing to do with this. You guys are giving me some good games I gotta play. I do need to start playing more horror games for sure. I'm just trying to get a few points. I do need more. No, I want to get like at least 20 neck miles tickets, you know? Where's my weeds? Here. I think I have lots of weeds in my storage too, so if I need to get them out, I will. Here we go. Oh my god, Dam Damien Porter, did you know that your girl Sneezler has competitive players clam clamoring to ban her because she has roughly 500% chance to do like every status in the game every turn. She's broken. She's too diva. We love it. I've heard that actually, that she's like too good. And I'm like, you guys really hated her when she first came out. And you were wrong for that. You were literally wrong for that. Oh my god, no thank you, Mindy. I truly appreciate it. You just spend a minute looking and then just, yeah, just close it out to the next day. Good to know. Very good to know that they won't, like, change their mind. Um, very good to know. Yeah, we got a few. Oh, you know what? Really quickly, just because I'm, like, desperate for Nook Miles, I'm just going to go check the thing really quick because they'll give me some more. Um, you know what I'm talking about. I just can't articulate it. Like, I'm just desperate for Nook Miles right now because I need to get three more tickets. See? I needed those 80 miles. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go to the next day. I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Bye. Bye, guys. Cool. We got this.
every time it goes dead silent quiet i want to take a drink you guys know me i just am embarrassed about needing a drink <laughs> yep but yeah i'm so happy for um i'm so happy for sneezler i really am because so many people doubted her and were like what the hell is this and i'm like hmm, you guys have no idea who you're talking to right now you know as soon as I saw her, I knew that she was was there to, to take lives, that she was there to party, you know? <laughs> oh my god, Ivy, you're so sweet. Thank you for saying that. I always, like, I always second guess, like, my if I'm, like, I don't know, I, like, I always want to play something, but I'm, like, oh, but is it too boring? Like, will they like it? Am I, like, supposed to play Animal Crossing forever? And so whenever you guys say stuff like that, it really means a lot to me. It really does. Why is it so quiet? You guys, come on. Somebody say something. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> yeah, I have to play um, Danganronpa 2. Rampa. Danganronpa 2. Because I've been getting that for years, actually. And I still just have never played it. So what the hell am I even doing? What am I doing? You know? Oh, just a dragon. I just saw you. I drew you something. Where can I send it to you? Like anywhere. You can... Oh, look at Roscoe sweeping like a vampire in that vampire shirt. Anyway, yeah. Like Twitter usually works. Um, sometimes Instagram is a little tough because like... I don't know. It filters my messages so weirdly. Sometimes there's like a another place of my instagram messages i can't even find it's weird but if you tag me in it on instagram i usually see it um but twitter's twitter usually works twitter's good yeah oh my god sophia garcia um have you heard that colleen's lawyer sent a cease and desist order to ethan um from h3 but instead sent it sent it to a fan account yeah i heard that uh hello what are you doing that's a real lawyer, and it's a big-time lawyer, too, who has represented, by the way, a lot of horrible, terrible people. It's almost like, I just can't, like, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been sued. I've never been, like, a rich, terrible person or anything, but it's like, you can almost, it's like, it's almost like, it's almost like Colleen is, like, just admitting, like, yeah, I'm a pretty terrible person because they, she got the worst lawyer ever who, like, like represents the worst people in hollywood just the worst yeah the worst no yeah um th yeah gg fabulous prince andrew among every basically anybody you can think of who has a has like the worst of the worst scandal in the entertainment business i'm talking anyone you can think of he represented them somehow but then he also sent it sent the cease and desist to a fan account like shut up what the hell? It's so crazy. Yeah, it's weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. It's been weird, actually. It's been, it's been weird. Yeah, Brian Singer. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse, exactly. Yeah. Okay, Timmy, whatever. I just need to get down there. Get me down there right now. Okay, who wants to leave? Wait, should I just close out now? What should I do? Should I close out now without it saving? Should, shouldn't I? Don't save. No, 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 don't save. You come back. Because, like, Roswell wants to leave, right? Isn't that what you do? Hopefully I did the right thing. <laughs> Hopefully I did the right thing. Yeah, close out and then go back in. Cool, I did the right thing. Hopefully we get it this time. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And it's so quiet that you can hear Matt and Jade chit-chatting outside, which is adorable, by the way. So cute. But yeah, it's really quiet. But I'm honestly doing a great job of just not needing to fill silences, really. Oh, no, Mackenzie. <laughs> oh, no, it's Mackenzie. Yeah, your shelf just fell. That's the worst. I've had that happen before. What a terrible thing. What a terrible thing. <clears throat> just terrible. Um, yeah, I just can't wait for Colleen to shut the fuck up to stop, you know? 
oh my god Nadine oh tell everybody I said hi over there it's been so long since I've seen everybody um you are volunteering at the best place which like department do you volunteer in I love it I love it that is that's the best place ever <clears throat> so great okay so hopefully it's like um it's Sasha. Sasha, what are you doing? So someone else like wants to leave now or something? Or like, what is it? What, what do I do now? Do I just like see if someone else is trying to leave or something? Yeah, someone else is trying to leave. So I just, it's Roswell again. Oh, the amphibian lab. That's the best. That's the best place. Oh, I miss all those babies so much. I have to come visit sometime. I have to take Jade down there and visit. It's been too long. Wait, no, 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 no. You're not doing that. No, no, you don't. Did it, did it change it? It didn't change it, right? Now I have to check because I'm just... Wait, just move to the next day. Move to the next day. Okay, move to the next day, says Mindy. All right. That is what I will do. That is what I will do. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my God. So scandalous of me to cough. Um... Okay, cool. Okay, if it's every... Okay, you guys are explaining it, and I'm getting it now. Cool. Good. Awesome. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Mindy, you are saving the day. Thank you so much. Okay, so if it's not the villager you want to leave, then literally just close and move forward without talking to anyone. Got it. So should I... So move forward to the next day, or... Should I move to the next day? Or like if it's somebody that wants to leave, do you just close out and then go back to the same day? I think that's what I'm confused about. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully this works. Okay, move to the next day. Thank you guys. You guys are killing it. You're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> okay. So... I'm like eyeing my drink right now. Like, I want a drink, but it's too quiet. It's just simply too quiet. Just simply too quiet. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Y'all want me to cover Toxic Gossip Train? Never. Except it, it is catchy. It sucks because it's sick, sickening. But, like, it gets stuck in your head. I think that's the, the worst thing ever because it's mean to do that because, like, you know you don't want it in there. And it's horrible, but, um, and it's also all over the place, and it's just, ugh, she just thinks, she thought that she really ate that, you know? Ugh, I just am so ready for it to just go away, even though, you know, obviously I want it to be, like, handled. <laughs> like, I don't want her to, like, get away with this, but I also just know that, like, everybody wants to move on, like, most of all the victims, you know? It's just so sad. Who's trying to leave? Hello? Who's trying to leave? Look at you two canoodling over here. Okay, all right. Aw, oh, Joanne, thank you so much. Okay, so change the day. It should bounce around until it lands on the right villager. Did I change the day? Did I? Oh yeah, so okay, Sasha's not outside. Does that mean I should just go to the next day? Probably, let's see if there's any easy ones really quick. Yeah, Sasha's home. I'm just going to check these to see if there's any, like, super easy ones really quick. Because, again, I just need them. Is it okay if I, like, talk to people? Probably, right? Shut up, Roswell. Shut up. Shut up. Us VIPs have to stick together. I guess you're right about that. Yeah, Maggie, what's up? Just talk to me really quick with the miles. Thank you for trying to make the most of today. You should probably start by getting an umbrella. Nobody's wearing an umbrella today. You guys are crazy. Stop, Marina. No, I've, no, never. Oh, I didn't talk to you yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Marina, you're so relatable, girl. Really? She's like trying to not to annoy me. I get that. I do. I really get that. Okay, cool. I just needed the miles, you guys. I really did. Mm. Mm, no, the rest, the rest can wait. Let's go to the next day. Should I not be saving? Should I just be closing out? Is that my problem? Before I 
save. Should I be closing out or not? Hmm. Should I save? Save. Okay, thanks. Thank you. GG Fabulous. Yes, I saw that. I did not read it. And I did not know that he commissioned it. to. But I saw the whole, like, we need to uncancel James Charles. What? Don't tell me what to do. What are you talking about? We need to. Why? Why? Because it's, what, been enough time? No. No, we don't need to uncancel James Charles. Like, what? That, yeah, it's pretty silly. It's pretty silly. Isn't it? Just people. Like, it's not hard to not be a terrible person. That's what I want everybody to remember. Like, if anybody, and I know none of y'all feel this way, but, like, whenever people are like, maybe we're being too hard on them. Like, everybody makes mistakes. Not like that. No. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Like, you put, you burn the popcorn or something. Or, like, even, like, you know, not being a great friend at all times or something. Or maybe, like saying something hurtful in like the heat of the moment to your partner or something that's a mistake that you can come back from and do be and be better or whatever or like not knowing you know something and 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 doing like I don't know what I'm saying is that these people are doing things that you don't have to do and that are actually you have to go out of your way actually to do it that's the thing it doesn't just like happen by accident you know, these are people who are playing the long game. They're doing, they're like just terrible people. They're dangerous people. We're not just canceling people because they're like making little mistakes here and there. They're doing things that they are putting real effort into all the time. And they are just not, they're, they're like the reason that they are being held accountable in, in, the, in the ways that they are is because like they're a danger actually to other people. So it's like, I don't know, I'm just sick of pe people being like, oh my God, like, you know, maybe we've been too hard on them and like, we, maybe we need to let, let people be, do better and be better. And it's like, they're incentivizing n being better with like the money and stuff. And like, I don't know, it's just weird to me. It's like not every, like to have a platform of that level and to make the, the amount of money. By the way, does KK Slider make it so that nobody's gonna move out? Like, should I just leave Im immediately? But anyway, yeah, to like make that level of money that they make and have the platform that they have, that's like a huge privilege that they don't need. People are acting like, oh my God, like, what are they gonna do if they don't have a platform? Get a job, how about? Get a fucking job, like the rest of us. Why do people act like it is, like, it's like, uh, and why do they also act, you guys realize, and I know that you guys, again, are not who I'm talking to, but like, People need to realize that people like James Charles and um, Colleen Ballinger, they have money that's never going to run out. They will never run out of money. They will still always, even if they never work another day in their lives, they will never run out of money. I'm just checking to see if there's any easy miles I can get. Like I can redeem my miles for another Nook thing ticket. But anyway, yeah. They are never gonna run out of money, okay? They are just sad because they wanna make more of it and because they want to like be, you know, a social figure because they like the attention, you know? <coughs> they don't need any of that. No one needs that. It's not like sad if they lose that. That's a huge, huge privilege and it's a huge responsibility. And so like no one is entitled to that. And if they lose it, if they get quote unquote canceled and they lose their platform, that's not taking everybody like their livelihood away from them because you can, you can, they'll always have money forever. Always. They have so many assets. Like even if they, like if they quote unquote fall on hard times, all they need to do is sell one of their cars or one of their homes and they'll be fine. And then like, um, I don't know it's just like people act like it's unheard of it's unfathomable for these people to get a regular job like you and I and it's just crazy and then yeah like at the end of the day the things that they do that they're being like canceled for quote unquote is it's not something that you do accident accidentally you know and it's something again that they don't need to do no one like it or like it just doesn't happen it doesn't just happen you go out of your way to do it because you're trying to hurt someone basically so I just cannot 
uh, handle it when people are like, well, maybe we should do it. I mean, like, just this, like, this cancel culture has just gotten so out of hand. No, no, we need to be worse about it, actually. Honestly. I'm just gonna, like, uh, catch up, because I was just talking but yeah i'm just like sick of um the 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 like sympathy for for terrible people honestly cleo i totally agree like people extending sympathy to the to the abusers instead of the victims like you guys are just totally piling on and it's like so wrong blah blah blah. i think that marina is like obsessed with roswell or something i don't like get why she's always with him Wow, and now she's hitting on me. Nice, cool. Nice to see your smile. Having fun, blurb. Oh, Marina. Oh, my God. Love it. But, yeah, I'm sick of seeing people feeling sorry for, like, other people that, that did something that they didn't need to do. And the only reason they're upset about it is because they got caught. Oh, my God. It really is. There really is something going on here. So I wasn't expecting you to send me some of your... <sighs> what did i say okay guys okay guys wow so i wasn't expecting you to send me some of your handwritten poetry like that wow you're welcome so which did you think were the standouts oh my god i shouldn't be listening in on this oh wow so marina's your sweet sweet blueberry pie really yeah really stuck in her mind my haiku i was hoping that one might stick to your teeth instead haha <laughs> little dessert joke for you what oh my god roswell i've never heard any of this dialogue yeah she can't resist uh-oh 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 marina <laughs> you tell him though honestly you tell him yeah men really think that they just know everything and that like they just know everything 5-3, who's counting? Just as long as it left you hungry for more of my word craft. Ew. Okay, Marina. So I think you got to, to got a glimpse as, into what, like, what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that was weird. Did I want to sell? No, I already sold my, sh my shells, didn't I? Did I sell all my shells? I am really running out of room in here. I'll just grab some more shells real quick. Whatever. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, like, um, cancel culture isn't a thing when it comes to predators and shit. So don't feel bad for them <laughs> at all. And if they get canceled forever and they never get to make more YouTube videos, they're going to be just fine. They're going to be better than all of us forever. Okay? That's, like, a fact. So don't feel bad for them. It's okay to not buy James Charles's fucking makeup. Like, for real. It's okay to forget about James Charles. We really should. We really, really should. And I didn't see the Emmys, you guys. I didn't even know the Emmys were on. I used to like watch all that stuff, but I didn't I didn't see it. But I'm sure that people are people are probably um, disappointed, aren't 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 they? <clears throat> Just because I didn't see anything on Twitter about being happy about the Emmys. <laughs> you know. Um but yeah, that I'm glad that we're all in agreement about not feeling bad for like rich people who do terrible things oh no not L lizzie olsen no why am i going in here that's not where i'm supposed to go oh is it just the nominations or is it oh good oh good okay that's why okay but what elizabeth olsen didn't get nominated is that what people are saying it's kind of crazy but um but me and Vi have the same taste in people that would be nominated for Emmys, so I'm glad that you're, that you are thrilled. And I'm glad that The Last of Us got lots of nominations because they really do deserve it. And I say that as like someone who was terrified when they first said that they were making a Last of Us show. And I was like, no, like I'm scared. But I knew that, you know, that it would, that it would be good because Neil Druckmann was like involved and he wasn't gonna let that go anywhere. And be anything you know did i sell enough shells for you people can i go now <clears throat> let me see here 
Oh, good. Bye. Okay, Better Call Saul is up for a ton. Good. Yeah, me and Matt were just talking the other day about how we have really have got to finish it and there's no more excuses. So I think at some point after we get back from Massachusetts, because we're going to visit my family soon, we're going to start it again. Or not start. Well, maybe start it. Maybe we should just start it again. You know, I don't watch a lot of TV though right now, you know, because I just don't really have time to. Um watch it but I will watch it if like if I want <laughs> if I want to was that what I was gonna say I don't know like I, I sometimes I'll make time for something but I just there's so many shows I want to watch so bad that I like just don't have time to watch um but I have so many on my list that I really want to watch I go through like phases where I watch a ton of shit and then I just don't watch anything and I think right now I'm in like a don't watch anything type of type of place. Mm -hmm. And Jenna Pam Pam, me and my mom watched The Last of Us recently, and now she's obsessed with Pedro. It'll that'll that it'll do it. That yeah, he'll do that to you. Yeah, I know. Who isn't? He's the best. He's the best. Really, just the best. But yeah, I saw that stuff about Colleen, like copyright claiming the thing. I guess like I've heard different things about how it might not be Colleen or something and like how somebody else might have uploaded it. Not that I'm like, you guys, it wasn't Colleen because like fuck Colleen. But I just don't know, I guess, if it was that. But if it was like because when I first found that out, I was like, uh, -uh what? Even though like a lot of people, I think, kind of called that like and thought that that might be what would happen since like it's a song <laughs> and um I don't know I guess we'll see you know because I think the lawyer like from what I heard the lawyer is only going after like age three because like they said that it, that Colleen did that even even though she didn't but then they didn't actually say that and they were the ones that were kind of like maybe it isn't Colleen I don't know it's a whole thing it's a whole thing <clears throat> Nadine, you asked if Jade speaks yet. Oh yeah, she says so much. Like, I, I actually took her, like, not to be like that, Mom, but I took her to the, oh, I, know, I have another campsite visitor, um, to the pediatrician uh, last Friday, or like this, like, Friday, like a couple days ago, and, um, <coughs> like, the way that she was talking and stuff, and all kids, like, they progress at different levels, so it doesn't mean anything if, like, kids her age aren't talking as much as she is. I think it's probably because I don't shut the fuck up, literally. And um, since she, like, doesn't go to daycare or anything, not that there's anything wrong with going to daycare, but she's just always, like, she has one-on-one -on -one time with me all the time, and I talk to her all day, every day. I think that, like, might just make it so it's faster. But again, just because kids that are Jade's age, she's 18 months now, don't talk as much as her doesn't mean anything you know because they just all at this point they all uh, progress at their own paces but she it talks so well that like the pediatrician was literally like uh okay yeah because she's she was a little shy but she was like um like she can count to 20 i'm not kidding i, I don't think anybody's gonna believe me unless i oh there's pietro so do i just go to the next day do i just go to the next day like what do i do i just go to the next day right just go to the next day you guys have already told me like just totally go to the next day okay cool oh yeah i gotta i gotta look at the campsite hold on just let me look at the campsite really quick and then i'll go to the next day but um but yeah she can count to like 20 she can say all the abcs she knows at least like 100 animals if not more and she can identify them in so many different forms like whether it's cartoon or like a stuffed animal or like a real picture and she oh god this is peggy okay peggy i'll leave you to it <laughs> anyway um and like she was a little shy of the pediatrician but then um there was like one of these signs in the room and it had like the little faces on them of like a happy face and a sad face and it was like which one are you feeling and she just saw it and she was like i see a happy face and the pediatrician was like uh did she just say i see a happy face and i was like yeah yeah <laughs> she was like okay yeah that's a little advanced <laughs> and i was like yeah oh uh, there's Timmy, there's my dad. Yeah, thanks, dad. We're excited to see you. JD's going to really blow you guys' minds. I got to tell you what she did yesterday. It made me sob, actually. Um, oh, my God. Bye. 
<laughs> all these damn pigs looking like a police station on this island. <laughs> so true oh my god like they're the piggiest pigs anyway i love you dad everybody say hi to my dad um we're gonna be seeing my dad next week i'm so excited um but yeah yesterday jade just like the shit that she puts together so she um i think she just observes us like in the way that we talk to each other and stuff but she also she'll watch like miss rachel and miss rachel sometimes will be like um will be like you know she'll she'll just show different signs for stuff but she won't really explain because like you know she works with like a large age range so and clearly it works to help give kids like the content like the, the information and then they find the context in their daily life because I just saw it in real time but anyways she'll she'll show the signs for like for words like sorry and thank you and please and things like that and I always would watch them be like hmm like how would a child know when to use that well, yesterday, um, Jade was like, she took like this little like rubber band off of her sippy cup and was like shoving it in her mouth. And obviously that's not safe for her to do. So I was like, no, 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 Jade, like that's the wrong choice. We don't do that. And I took it away from her and I was like, let's not like put that in our mouth. And I just took it from her because obviously I'm not like, no. Um, but, you know, she understands when I'm like, that's the wrong choice. That's always kind of what we say. And I just like turn back around and she goes, sorry. And she's doing the sign for sorry. And I'm like, is she saying sorry to me right now? She was like, I'm sorry. And she was saying the sorry sign. And I was like, and I just like started crying. I was like, it's okay. You don't need to be sorry. It's okay. Even though like she was apologizing in the correct con context. Like she, and I don't know where she learned. I think she just must have learned that through she likes heard Miss Rachel say sorry and then she listens when me and Matt say sorry or when like other people say sorry or when they say sorry in a show and she knew like okay so when when like people use sorry it's because they they're apologizing for something that's like a wrong choice you know but she said it in sign language and out loud she, she said sorry but she also did the sign like on her chest and like basically it's like you rub like a little circle with a fist in your chest and she was just saying sorry for like chewing on the rubber band and I was like that's so like and I felt bad honestly I was like oh my god you don't have to apologize even though again like that's the right thing to do like it's the right context to apologize um but it's just so weird to see this little t like baby still in my eyes being like sorry mom <laughs> like <laughs> but it was just crazy to me that she figured that out herself I don't know it's just crazy the the, the speed that they learn and I just think that she's the most amazing baby ever. And also my dad is so sweet. Hello, fellow Amanda fans. Like, ah, you're the sweetest. I love you guys. <laughs> it's, the, it's the most dad thing ever to just send a sticker and no message. Just a giant dancing cartoon. I know. Who wants to leave? Come on, please make this easy for me. Come on. But yeah, Miss Rachel's really like our girl and has it's like it's so obvious that like and you know she me and I try my oh there's fucking Sasha just fishing so I guess that's a no huh I guess that's a no all right yeah Amber you're so right Sasha needs to pack his things grab his his exit goodie bag and proceed to the airport it's been real but you gotta go yep Let's see if I have any quick 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 ones real quick um no nothing quick enough nothing quick enough bye guys Clint oh my god I'm so glad you made it you guys are the best I don't know why I called you you guys Clint I think I just was looking at everybody's comments and saying you guys but anyway yeah again not to be that mom I just like and she oh my god just one more thing <laughs> one more Jade story so she and she's been doing this for kind of a while but she just is so cute about it so like I think she got it well she definitely got it for me like because I'll always be talking to her about animals and I'll be like oh cute oh so cute and so now every like second of the day she just is looking at stuff and she's like oh cute oh cute but she uses it like right like she'll say it about every animal she sees every single stuffed animal she sees every person every baby she's like oh cute oh so cute and it's just the best she's just so fucking cute <laughs> she's the best she loves animals so much and I think I mean obviously I like have just exposed her to so much animals <laughs> in her whole life but it's starting to kind of become her own little thing that I really just love like I can just tell that she's just 
looking for animals at, at any point and she just wants to always be around animals and be seeing animals and and it's just the best and um like the other day I took her to the local saltwater fish store and they're like a really good store and they have like tons of really healthy like captive bred fish and I'm actually thinking of well not thinking I'm like planning and putting the steps in in order to start keeping saltwater fish again I think um because I used to do it a long time ago but I haven't done it in years so I'm like just doing my research again like remembering what I can keep and so Jade is obsessed with fish right now so I'm like oh my god it would be so cute to have a nice little aquarium and um you know some clownfish I think right now I'm planning on just doing the the basics like because I used to keep clownfish a lot and I kept some bigger fish like um like some trigger fish and stuff and different like harder fish uh back in the day but I think I'm just gonna start with clownfish and like some blennies and um I want to get some brittle stars and stuff like that maybe a big clam to be fancy but um but yeah we were in there and she was just so good and she was so cute and she was like just like looking at all the fish she was like oh cute so cute and like one of the employees came over and was like oh wow I didn't even know you had a baby like I've seen you standing here and now I see that you have a baby and like she's being really good and she's not tapping on the glass or anything and she's just looking I'm like yeah because she knows better because it's like if she even goes to tap on the glass I'm like no no no, that's gonna scare them no no you don't want to scare the fish and she's like oh okay and she like takes that seriously you know so I just love that and she's obsessed with mermaids right now she's so obsessed with um like the new little mermaid clips like I know it's not out yet she hasn't seen the full movie yet but she makes me watch um like the clip of like the new like Halle Bailey Ariel doing like part of your world which is so fucking amazing she slays that so hard it's not even funny anyway who's trying to leave and then the under the sea she's like obsessed with it and she's she like names all the animals and she's like they're dancing and she just loves it she loves mermaids and so she's just getting all this mermaid stuff everybody's buying her mermaid things but then she's like mermaid she's swimming and like she just it's so cute it's so adorable and i'm like in my head i'm like does she she thinks that like this is real that like mermaids are real that's so crazy like she thinks that hallie bailey is a mermaid and i'm like good for her good for jade and hallie Where's Sasha? Doesn't he want to leave? Like, come on. Oh, Sasha's home. Okay. Yep. Sasha's home. All right. All right. Yeah, I've heard Dal- Dalton, I've heard like nothing but good things about this new Little Mermaid and I knew it was going to be awesome. I really knew it. And like, yeah, Alex right here, I'm becoming so obsessed with her just from watching these clips and stuff. And me and Jade just like watch little interviews and it's so cute. Oh my God. The other day I put like just an interview because like Jade was like eating lunch and I was like, oh, I just want to see this interview with like Halle Bailey. And she was just in a totally not in an Ariel costume, just sitting there. And Jade was like, mermaid, Ariel, mermaid. And I was like, yeah she is a mermaid (laughs) so sweet yeah she's just like amazing I can't wait to see the full movie because we're just living on clips right now just waiting for it to come to Disney plus because I can't take Jade to the theater she'll you know she'll sit there but she will eventually get sick of why like she'll not understand why she can't run up and down the uh the aisles and climb over the seats and stuff you know (laughs) so funny but yeah, I'm so excited because when we go visit my family in Massachusetts, there's this place. Let me know if any people in Massachusetts know it. Uh, Davis Farmland. Shout out. And I used to go there all the time when I was little. And it's like literally such a good idea. Uh, Sasha. Off to the next day. Off to the next day. Anyway. Um, yeah, there's this place called um, called Davis Farmland. And it's so awesome and I just wonder why there's nothing like that in Georgia but it's basically like a I don't even know how to describe it's like a farm land it's like a farm themed amusement park but it's not like an amusement there's no like real rides or anything I think there's like some slides and like bouncy things and stuff and like maybe a potato sack slide or something like that you know 
but there's like a bunch of animals like a bunch of farm animals and it's like an actual farm and there's like cows and pigs and just a bunch of farm animals and a bunch of stuff for kids to do but it's like farm themed which is like every kid like every little kid goes through like a farm obsession when they're little so I just remember being a little kid and going to to Davis farmland and being like oh my god we're at a fucking farm hell yeah like I love farm animals and I love a farm and then on the other side they have like this big corn maze for like bigger kids and stuff and it's perfect so I can't wait to take her there because she's so obsessed with farm animals right now she just loves them so much she loves them so much oh my god Vi yeah uh saltwater fish is so intimidating actually um like freshwater fish like I think keeping a actual like pretty large fish tank in general is pretty hard but the saltwater thing is it's hard it's like it's enjoyable in some aspects but you do have you have to test all the levels all the different like there's so many different levels that you need to test and you need to have the right lighting and you need to like be able to either mix the saltwater yourself or you buy like the pre-mixed stuff but obviously buying the pre-mixed stuff is more expensive and it's better to just learn how to um how to just like do do it yourself and so that's what I used to do with, like and but then there's like then there's all all the different types of fish that you want to keep they like you might get go to one place and you might see a fish for sale like oh my god I saw when we went to the the store there was a cowfish for sale longhorn cowfish and the good thing about the store that we went to is that they will not just let anybody buy a fish like they're gonna be like hey um y'all gotta like know what you're doing with that fish i'm not just gonna let you walk out here with our cowfish you have to know that that guy like that this is what you gotta keep in mind because like for cowfish and boxfish um like other types of boxfish and this is like something that happens like rarely but it's just good to know like if they get stressed out <coughs> they release a toxin and in the ocean they do it and it like just it might like affect fish around them but if they do it in a closed system in a tank then it kills the whole entire tank, including them, because they release it into like the water. So you have to know, like, you have to make sure you don't have any fish in there that, oh, the Sasha's home, fuck. Um, you have to make sure you don't have any fish in there that could that could stress your cowfish out or your boxfish. <clears throat> oh my God, Joseph's here, yes! I love you, you volunteered on a farm today, lucky. They had a baby cow named Keebler. Ow! I hope I see a baby cow next week at Davis Farmland. Anyway, yeah, I'm um, in the slow works of getting another saltwater tank going here because I miss it. <coughs> but yeah, there's like different fish that are just like for advanced people for sure that are really hard to keep. Like a, another fish I've always wanted to keep is a porcupine puffer. And they can be, I don't know, you just got to know what you're doing. Like they can be finicky eaters and um you gotta just make sure that you I don't know that you like figure out their diet and and, like you know they can be weird and then um like I would love a Moorish idol but that I don't even know if I could ever like they're so so hard to to keep and you just have to be so good at it and then there's also fish that you can't keep if you want to have like a nice little reef with everybody getting along there's a lot of fish that that will just eat you know the other fish or they're just not like quote-unquote reef safe (coughs) and then there's fish that you might want to keep but they are not ethically you can't really get them ethically sourced in some cases like it's really hard oh my god roscoe okay so marina's wanting to leave so do i just leave no i love how i keep doing this and i just like yeah i guess i just leave right yeah but anyway, yeah, you just got to really do a lot of research for saltwater fish, like a lot. And then if you want to keep corals, which I always love keeping corals, um, you have to, like all the corals are different species too. So you need to know which species of corals are going to do best <laughs> with the fish that you have and which fish you have that might eat the corals. And then you got to have the right cleanup crew of like the, the right little inverts that can do the cleaning because some of the cleaners are like really good cleaners, but then they might like, they might, you know, not get along with others or like they might be eaten by this fit. Like it's just, you have to just totally do all your research. <clears throat> but I can't wait. I just definitely, I just want to get two little clownfish because you sh- should only ever have two clownfish, by the way. Just 
so you know because they pair up but then if there's more than two then they'll fight um and I just want yeah I'm just gonna start with like two clownfish I just can't wait to get brittle stars because I never kept them before because back when I kept saltwater tanks before I didn't like appreciate brittle stars like I do now I think I thought that they were kind of like creepy I don't know why because I love them now and I worked with them at the aquarium after I kept saltwater tanks and I like fell in love with them and there's like it depends on the species but like the <coughs> I think they're just the green brittle stars they're like a really good like reef safe little guy um that can help clean up the tank and then urchins I can't wait to get some urchins and I really want to get a big clam they have some really beautiful like big cool clams at my local shop and then just yeah like some really cute little gobies and blennies um but yeah oh my god amber there's so much research involved and like some of the like the finding nemo quote-unquote fish that everybody wants like it depends like because the clownfish again are so easy to keep but then like like a moorish idol like gill don't even try it they're so hard and um and even the the tangs honestly i used to keep yellow tangs and they did okay um, but they were hard. They were harder than I expected. And I remember even reading that yellow tangs were easier than, because the yellow tangs are definitely easier than blue tangs. But even the yellow tangs, I don't think I'll keep yellow tangs again. I don't know. I have to work up to it. But, but, uh, we'll see. Yeah, the clownfish are awesome, though. I always had great success with clownfish. I know. <laughs> so you're telling me I can't keep the hot fish sad? I know that still, to this day, from childhood one of my dreams to have a Moorish idol and like anytime I see one I'm like oh my god I love this fish he's so hot he's so gorgeous because they really are just the most gorgeous fish ever but it's so funny that this dentist just had like a Moorish idol chilling in his tank um that's just crazy to me Cherry's birthday yeah we gotta go pop in and say hi to Cherry where are ya fucking Oh my god, so he's out and about, so like tell me that he's wanting to leave. Like tell me. Please. Just begging him to be asking to go. Oh my god, corpse three. I hope that's how you say that. But yeah, I name every single one of my fish. Every single one of my fish, every single one of my inverts that I keep. Absolutely I name them all. And I do agree that people who don't name their fish like it bothers me it bothers me on a very personal level like whenever I see fish and I see somebody has a fish tank I'm like what are all their names and they're like oh they don't have names and I'm like <laughs> what or like some people they'll name like the big ones like I've met some people that have like a bunch of fish but then they have like maybe a porcupine puffer like somebody silly and cute like a little box fish and they might name like that one because it's their favorite but I name every single thing. I'll name every snail. I'll name, and even if it's not the right one, I'll just know that they all have a name and I'll just point and be like, where's Sasha? He must be in a building or something, huh? Damn, dude, what the fuck? Is he like in a building? Y'all keep bringing up the, the, the quarry. So I have got to check that out too. That's, that's a game. So if I can't, oh, there you are, sweeping, you sweeping bitch. Damn it. Well, all right, is there any? No, I'll just, since I pressed the button, I'll just go. Mm-hmm, yeah, corpse, I totally agree. They don't even treat them as pets. And I know that they, like, there's a lot of people that, like, that I know that keep saltwater fish, and they treat them good, and they're, they love it, and it's, like, their hobby. But then they don't name them, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, I knew some people, I don't, like, know them anymore, but, like, back and like I've known people before that um that kept reptiles even that they didn't name and I was like what is wrong with you people what and they're like oh yeah I just enjoy keeping them and like you know taking care of them but like why do I have to name them and I'm like because it's your fucking pet dude what the hell's wrong with you <laughs> and they're like they can't uh you know they can't hear you or anything and I'm like I know but it's still just like you have something you can name why don't you na I love naming shit I'll name anything that I can name anything name all my cars I name all of my stuff just anything I can name I'll give it a name anything <coughs> oh Lainey yeah no no progress we're just still trying to kick him out I thought for sure I was gonna get this bitch out of here but I don't know I don't know I guess not 
But uh, yeah, no, Nadine, um, it depends on the reptile. Like lizards can hear you. I shouldn't have said all reptiles. Snakes are the ones that can't really hear you. They don't really have ears, so they will feel the vibrations and stuff of your voice, but they can't hear. So yeah, it was usually people with snakes. Like people usually, they, they name lizards and stuff, but I just knew so many people who had snakes that they wouldn't name. I was like, what's wrong with you? Sha- Sasha, you better have a thought by the time I see you again. But yeah, snakes can't, can't, uh, can't hear, but frogs certainly can. And so can lizards and, uh, turtles can hear you. Turtles and tortoises. I know. Oilia. I'm not saying that right. Olaya. Olaya. Oh, there it is. Olaya. Sometimes it takes me a minute because I got to, I got to like rearrange the number or the letters. Look at me saying numbers because I have dyslexia. So like I might read it wrong the first time, but yeah, snakes are too cool not to name. Those people are sociopaths. I agree. I mean, how do you not just look at at a snake and say, I have a name for you. I have a little name for you. I forgot to see, uh, I forgot to see Terry on her birthday. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Really a monster. Oh my god, <laughs> I love that. When I kept fish, I had multiples of the same fish. I would name them. Or when I had multiples of the same fish, I would just name them a collective. Is this Pietro wanting to leave? He wouldn't be doing this up here, right? But anyway, yeah, you named your four mollies My Chemical Romance. Perfect. And the snails were a green day. <laughs> Perfect. What should I do about this little shit? Is he asking to leave up here? All the way up here? Should I just go? Let me know. What's next? Yeah, that probably means he's trying to go, right? Just let me know. Because I don't know what to do. I need like you guys to walk me through this. Step by step. Next day, yes. Thank you, Joanne. <clears throat> cool thanks yeah oh and Pietro's house is right there so that means he's outside his house doing that acting like that cool cool mm -hmm -hmm. Lainey you asked what Zelda games have I played I've played I played um like Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask Twilight Princess um definitely played we played breath of the wild me and matt we haven't played tears of the kingdoms yet K kingdoms multiple kingdoms now tears of the kingdom yet but we are definitely wanting to so bad um no stop why are you doing this oh what else have i played i know i've played other ones too um wind oh yeah wind waker yes yes oh my god wind waker is amazing my, my my baby link link is my fucking baby i will cry stop you went way past it i've always main link when i'm playing smash bros too because i just like fell in love with him immediately as soon as i saw him and i've never played anybody else in smash bros um i just love him so much skyward sword was that the one for what one was that was that the one no was that the one for Wii? No. Is that the one for... Did I play Skyward Sword? Maybe not. There, I know there's... Yeah, the Wii. Okay, so I did play Skyward Sword. Yeah, I don't think I finished it, though. I think I started playing it with my brother, and then I moved or something. I moved out. Yeah, but I started it. Yes. Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. I just love Link so much. He's so sweet. I know. He's so fucking sweet. I'm so glad that, like, he's, that just, that Zelda's, like, never gonna die, never gonna die. Like, that it's just, like, that those games are always gonna be, like, kicking ass, you know? That's so special to me. <laughs> Link's, like, the best guy ever. And it was so sweet that, um, Matt, like, the first Zelda game he ever played was, breath of the wild so i got to like play that with him and he like obviously knew of link and knew the the general basis of the story and stuff but like once he played that game he was like for it like i watched it like change his whole life and he was like holy shit like this is what y'all been doing with this guy for all, all these games he's like he like looked at me and he had tears in his eyes and he was like link is the bravest person who ever lived like there's just no there's just no like debate there's nothing that anybody could tell me. 
Oh, KK again! Ow! Well, maybe I'll just use this day to get some more Nook Miles, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, he just loves Link. And it was just nice to see um, somebody discover how amazing he is for the first time. What are some of these? What do they need from me? What do they need from me? Ugh, what? Okay, I can, I can talk to a few fuckers. Yeah, I'll go talk to somebody real quick. I'll talk to like two, three people or whatever, however much they need. And then, um, and then I'll just go to the next day. Because KK, Slider, as much as I love you, I wish you weren't here right now. Aw, oh, Jen, I'm so glad you're catching alive. Hi, hopefully you do this more often. I was actually just thinking the other day, I mean, not to like jinx it, but I was like, oh, you know, I bet I could stream twice a week. Oh my God, Marina, come on. She's so dramatic. But I was like, oh my God, like why? You guys would be cute together. Marina just checked her out and did like the little flash eyes. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, for trying to kick Sasha out. I don't know what to tell you. T take it up with Sasha, really, is what you should do. Wow, the the time music for this particular time is, is something. It's something else. It certainly is a song, isn't it? Certainly is a song. Okay, boys, there's like nobody in here. I thought maybe there would be somebody in here. Should I buy anything? Should I buy this? Should I buy this? Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, please. Put it in the bag. Thank you. Aw, oh, Genevieve, I'm glad you like that idea. Yeah, I was just thinking like there's just too much I want to do on streams, and I don't think that once a week is enough. And it's fun, and it's easier than I work it up in my head to be, you know? Is there anything in here? Probably not. Why am I even looking in here? Stop. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I really wish that they would put Wolf Link back in the game. Well, oh, come on. I loved when they had them all. They had them all. They had like Epona and they had um, they had Gan and the Pig. Yeah, yeah, Brando Man, exactly. And they had Wolf Link. Those were the days. Can I do that a third person to talk to you real quick? This shouldn't be that hard. I have to go in here. I don't even think I've ever been in here. Whatever, at least we're just chilling, you know? I definitely wanted to go villager hunting, but really, this is your house? I just wouldn't really expect you to have like the, the beach house. That's not really your vibe. I can't wait to take out your house and fuck it up. Really can't. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to get a couple points, but now I'm going to go to the next day. Let's see here. Oh my god, Kristen. <laughs> That's so sweet that you had you still have a card. Yeah, I love you, Axolotl. That sounds like something I would write in your card. Yep. <laughs> my little puns. Oh my god, I love making my cards. I'm glad that you still have it. I really go all out in those things don't I and by go all out I mean I never know what to say so I just tell bad jokes or like upload like load them up with animal facts or just like what am I doing did I not close out did I not close out the game cool I love Pikmin I played the first Pikmin but I didn't pick any I didn't pick <laughs> I didn't play any of the other ones and it's been so so long since um since i played pikmin but i love pikmin a lot i got mad at matt one time because he didn't play he's never played pikmin and i was upset to hear that because he's played so many cool games but he's never played pikmin did it save i always miss it i always miss it it must have saved it by this point yeah and if it didn't fuck it whatever whatever yeah i just can't wait for sasha to leave and Joanne, you're so right. We can just make it like the next one or something. Nope, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Candyland Crossing. You're scared to catch the scorpion and the tarantula. I get it. I really do get it. Um, I don't, um, I think you just, yeah, you just have to wait for the nighttime and then you just gotta like be so brave, like braver than the Marines, but you have to like sneak up on them when they're not looking at you. And then if they do turn around, which they will, you just stop and just wait for them to turn around again. Cause they will. 
and I think you get you get you usually get like three or four steps in and then they'll turn around but you just stop and then you just wait for them to turn back around you know and then you just go for it but yeah it's pretty scary it's pretty pretty thrilling thrilling experience hollow stars the feeling when no working memory literally actually no working memory like truly it's amazing it's amazing the things I do remember actually because I remember the most useless shit all the time but then I just don't remember anything else <laughs> like nothing it's crazy yeah just don't remember anything I'm like pressing buttons even though there's nothing I, like I feel like the pressing the button is gonna make it load faster really really Okay, Isabel. Good for you, Isabel. Okay, cool, good, great, awesome. So quiet, why? Here we go, cool, all right. Thank God Sasha wants to leave, right? 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 Sasha, don't do this to me. Okay, so Sasha's not in his house. Please. Ah, uh, hi, ya boy Blake. I'm glad you're here. Oh my God, Alex. <laughs> Never played Pikmin, but I certainly pick men who, <laughs> who play with me. Okay, I have to leave, Marina. You can't be doing this. That is so funny, I love you. Come on. Aw, Aether, I'm glad that you could catch the stream. I hope I said that right. Um, yeah, we're just out here trying to kick Sasha out to no avail whatsoever. Z absolutely zero avail. Negative one avail, literally. Devin, that's a great question. If you could make your own or your ideal Pokemon game, what would it look like? Y'all know. Y'all know. Um, I've talked about this in my Pokemon videos, but I am just so... I'm so blown away that they haven't made it yet and that they haven't, like... That I just hope that they steal my idea. I really do. I just want, like, a Pokemon game where you can just be anyone. Like, you just get to be your own trainer and you get to have your own, like, experience and it's just like an open world, like kind of like, I don't know, RPG almost like a, and it's like there's dating elements, like where you get to date anybody that you want. That's like, you know, like a trainer, if you have a trainer that you love, like Lance, for example, you know, just throwing an example out there. If you had somebody that you loved um, and like, listen, it's, it's a billion dollar idea okay because i'm telling you that like the the the, uh, the original like the the main game would be like you know you get maybe like three or four regions like the big regions like a couple of the big regions and then you get like a bunch of the you get the trainers that come with those regions and stuff and the pokemon that come with those regions but then like i wouldn't even mind this like then they can just release like expansion packs of a couple more re like a couple regions where you have to buy the region and then you get the characters that come from the region and you get the region and then you get the Pokemon from the region right and then like this is what you get to do anything you fucking want okay so you get to like dress the way you want and be like customized but you also get to be like an adult you know and just have an adult life and you get to own like a home or something or maybe I don't know maybe you don't own a home maybe just because you're going to so many regions you know but you have like or maybe you do because then you go there and you can keep all your stuff there and you can customize it and um you know, but you also, like, might stay at little campsites because you camp with your Pokemon. Okay, cool. Shooting stars. Love it. But then, like, you can do whatever you want. You, you can, like, fight the rival teams if you want. You can go compete in those, like, big Pokemon, like, championship things if you want. And those, like, roll up. You know, they're like, they're like, oh, there's one coming in, like, two weeks. You got to train for it. And then you can do, like, Victory Road if you want. Um, and you can do like the champion thing and you can just be a gym leader maybe if you want and you can be a champion and you can be like a Pokemon breeder 
and you can just do whatever the fuck you want. How about, like, wouldn't that be amazing? You could really do whatever you want, and then you could just have, like, a Pokemon, like, romance, too, also, where you have to, like, you are, like, romancing the trainer, but you also have to, like, come on, Sasha, what is he doing? You know, yeah, it's just, like, you could do whatever you want, basically. So should I leave? Let me just, like, do some Nook Miles things, I guess. But yeah, I just really want that game, basically. Veruca, my favorite Pokemon by far, no contest, is Jolteon. I collect Jolteons, and I just love Jolteon. I can sell some fruit. I can talk to some neighbors. <sighs> Sasha, why are you still here? Um, oh, Maggie's asking to leave. Good to know. Great to know, in fact. Yeah, see, Cleo, you could totally date Guzma. Exactly. And you could, like, unlock Guzma and stuff. Um, and, like, you could just date him, you know? And, like, all of them. Anybody that you could think of. Shut up, Sasha. What? Um, and then, yeah, I just really want that so bad. What game? Oh, yeah, Masters EX. Okay, wait. So there really is a dating sim part in Pokemon Masters EX. Are you serious? They have Raihan and Adamon in that game. I'm sorry, I'm just like, stuttering because I just have never... Really? Is that for real? You really can't date people in that game? Holy shit. Oh my god, and they might, like, put Lance in it? <laughs> That's all I want. I'm, like, this fucking close to writing, like, a fanfic, you guys. I swear to god. <laughs> oh my god. You know, that's just, like, what I want. It's just to have a life. Yeah, Raihan is so sexy, Nina. You're right. Yeah. And I've warmed up to Leon, too. Not that I would ever date him, but I just think I love his hair and stuff. Kind of like them together, actually. Raihan and Leon. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. But yeah, no, they both are beautiful people. And you can unlock them in my game, and you could just unlock them, and then you could just do whatever you want. You know, if you want to, like, date them, you can. You know, that's the thing. I'm trying to give you people. You know, Cynthia, you want to try to win Cynthia's heart? You could try. You could certainly try. <laughs> you know? Anybody you want. I'm telling you, you know? <coughs> Uh, get something out. I'm just gonna get some fruit out and just like please like just sell the fruit for points. I don't know why I said please in front of that. Did I already sell all my fruit that I had? I have like two pieces of fruit left. Damn it. But yeah, that's really what I want out of life so badly. Um, so I'm just gonna sell some fruit really quick and then I'm gonna like uh, and then I'm just gonna go to the next day. Yeah. Yeah, Queen K, unfortunately, Cynthia's <laughs> entire bloodline is fine as fuck. Yeah, unfortunate, but true. And they're also crazy as fuck, too, aren't they? The, the bloodline there. <laughs> wow. But we love them. I just love Cyn Cynthia so much. And no one else in that bloodline but Cynthia. <laughs> she hasn't wronged me on the level that others have, you know? Uh, are you talking about Aether? Are you, I hope I'm saying that right, but are you talking about Aaron, the, the bug boy, Aaron? Because I also love green-haired green, green -haired Aaron, too. There's a couple green-haired Pokemon guy, but I do love... Oh, Kojita, too. Is she related to them? She's related to all that? She's related to Vola? Really? Is she? I do love Kojita so much. Um, but yeah, I uh, just love Aaron. Oh, N, N, you're talking about N. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah, N. Yeah, I get that. Okay, let's see here. Um, what are these eggs? Take these eggs away from me. Get them out of my sight. I'm just trying to sell some fruit today. Is that all the fruit I have? Cool, all right. Not much, but. You know who else is kind of hot is Steven, actually. Kind of. And Volkner, obviously, you know, I love Volkner so much, but, you know, the thing was, like, everybody would expect me to end up with a Volkner, you know, but I love Lance. <laughs> I just can't help it. And it's like Lance probably is worried that I'm going to end up with Volkner, but no, you know, but I do like Volkner. No, he's not wanting to leave, so I got to go to the next day. Wait, did I get my miles? Sorry, I'm just like, I have like no memory. I just have none. 
Okay, yeah. Oh, I should have hit rocks, but I don't think I have any rocks to hit. Where are all the rocks? I'm trying to put all the rocks in one place. Let me just try to find a couple rocks, because it's times five. You know what I mean? Like, times five, you guys. I can't pass that up. I cannot pass that up. Come on. Where's the rocks, dude? Oh, there's a rock. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know. We really should just amiibo Sasha out. We really should. And we will. If, like, he doesn't want to leave, we will. But I'm having fun. I mean, kind of. I just would, like, love to just at least go a little villager hunting. But at the same time, we're having fun. This is fun. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, that's such a good idea, Caitlin. <laughs> I fucking hate this this 2 p.m. music. Wow, why didn't I think of that? That's a great idea. I agree. Totally agree with that. We are totally gonna gonna skip an hour ahead or like back or something. All right. I think yeah. Let's go. And we don't need to listen to that music anymore anymore yeah it's the worst true facts you're so right mr true facts you're so right and like we really had to sit there because of me <laughs> we really did you know yeah this is a nightmare it really is it really was a nightmare yeah oh my god hmm i'm trying to think of the other puzzle on hotties actually now to share with you all um but you know i can never think of anything when i'm when i'm faced with it when i'm like no i just changed the day i didn't change the time no go back go back go back see you can never think of anything and you just really displayed that for everyone to see go back we're not doing two 19 anymore and in fact i don't even want to do one because i'm too scared that it's going to roll over to two again and i'm going to have to deal with that here we go. All the moms are definitely hot. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Marlon. I can, yep. Mm hmm. Oh, Grusha. Oh, my God. You're so right. Oh, it'd be, that would be so hard for me to, to pick between. I would, I, of course, I would pick Lance, of course. But it would be hard for me to, it would be hard with Grusha. Grusha is like the first person that really, in a long time, you know, that really like challenged Lance. Obviously, there's been people that have come come along. And Rika too. Rika. Rika. Oh, God. Rika. Come on. Why, why do we have to buy? You know, it's just, it's, it'll be hard. It'll be hard. It'll be hard. It'll be real hard. Yeah. But that's why you buy the expansion packs, you know, you, you really do. And then uh, you get to just you get to just have them all, you know, and you can break up with them if it's not working out and you can just, you know, that's why, you know, I might start with Grusha and just try that out and maybe just break up with him and then go for Lance. That way Lance is a little bit jealous at that point. He's like, oh, she'll never go for me. Like she's with Grusha. Oh, no, Grusha broke up with we They grew, they they broke up. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I got to give her some time, you know, and then it's just. And I can do that. I can do whatever I want, you know, in the game. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Drew. If, why do they make them so hot if we can't date them? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I really need that game. I just need it. Like, we have so much, I have so much life left to live. Like, I have so much life left to live. And I just know that in, in the time it's going to take me to go from 30 years old to 100, that's gonna happen they have how what what is that 70 yeah like 70 years to w work the fuck out to make it happen come on you know they have time they've got plenty of time to make it happen no yeah the the, the <laughs> scarlet and violet pressers but they try i don't think they're gonna be in the game yeah no as hot as they are i just don't see it working out because you know, we all know what happened down there. <laughs> I just can't see them just walking around and acting like that didn't happen, you know? Um, what is this now? Who's calling me? Oh, yeah, I sold those fruits, so. Right? 
caramel coconut. Have I played Splatoon? No, actually I haven't. I've heard, yeah, I've heard that it's like they're all they're all like sea creatures and stuff. I just haven't ever played it before. I don't even really know what it is. Actually, oh, Arvin too. Oh, why you always gotta come up here with your true facts? Arvin, uh, yeah, Arvin would also be there. Yeah, and I would just have to like be on the back of Lance's Dragonite flying past Arvin and the Bostiff. Yeah, there'd be a little, it, it would tug at my heart, but I think I could do it. You guys don't even know how much I love Lance. Well, you do actually, I think you do, but I don't, even then, I don't think you do, you know? I just love him so much. It's like such a like, ah, oh, Marina, really? Marina, what am I doing wrong? Is it just bad luck? Is it just bad luck? Uh, let me just go really quickly and just like do this thing. Damn it. Cause I'm just desperate for miles, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Um, figure off. He's not your most recent move-in, is he? No. No, that's not the... Yeah, that's... Yeah, he moved in a long time ago. Unfortunately, he's just m trying to purposely make me hate my life. Oh my god, Sergio. Yes, Karen. Please. So true. And Olivia. Oh my god. Olivia. Yeah. There's a lot of hotties out there. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's so many. So many. It's unfair. It's crazy. Oh my god, Aether, you're, that's so, yes. That, that would be such a staple of the game, is that you get to have your little Pokemon partner out, and it can be whoever you want. And my Jolteon could always be out because like in my brain, because I have a whole life, you guys don't even, I mean, you do get it. You definitely get it. I have a whole life in my head, like with Lance and like as like a Pokemon, like a gym leader, but I'm like trying to be a part of the Elite Four. I'm working on it and I'm just like, you know, just an electric baddie, but my Jolteon doesn't like the Pokeball, okay? He's one of those. He doesn't want to go in the Pokeball. And if you don't let him into your establishment i will be mad like he's coming with me he needs a chair if we're going out to, to eat he's always gonna be with me and so i can't even do that anymore you know i just loved it when i could have my jolteon out with me it's hard yeah no Ray raihan is uh is definitely very gorgeous and beautiful i hope that everybody loves raihan anyway marina i can't believe you've done this can't believe you've done this Oh my god, Gigi, you're so right. The Let's, the Let's Go games, like, I loved it. I loved it because, you know, Lance was in it. But also, it was very nostalgic for me as someone who loves... Okay, I guess I gotta change my outfit. I guess this the ghost face shirt isn't good enough for them. But um, but yeah, you're so right that they got that right. Like, I love that you could, you could ride so many different types of Pokemon. And um, you could always have, like, your Pokemon out with you and stuff. And that was such a cool... Thing. and it's like you did it once why can't you do it again come on what should we wear what should we wear since i'm like not allowed to wear i'll just wear this cool alien guy yeah that really is my emotional support jolteon you're so right like i need him there i really do okay off i go this is hard, huh? It's kind of hard. Carly, I totally agree. I loved having my little Eevee, like my little Eevee guy that was like, that I could dress up and I could like, and he was like super powered and stuff. And, and I could also have my Jules on. So it was like, just fine, you know? It's just fine. All right, I just can't believe that Sasha's doing this to me. It just feels mean, it feels mean and wrong, you know? Morty is adorable, you're so right. Morty's, yeah, as far as ghost types go. Yep. Yeah. 
oh my god yeah the design for Lorelai and Agatha both like in Let's Go so good yeah and Lance was pretty good Lance was like that was like a young strapping Lance you know yeah Lance was great Amber. Marina, you signed a lifetime contract. Please stop asking to leave. No, literally. You're not allowed to leave. You know that. Clint, of course, you're, you're watching Scream. You would be watching Scream. I love Scream. I love all the Scream movies, even the bad ones. I love them all. I love them all. You're so right, Gigi. It is crazy how Morty is the only like adult man ghost type. So like, what? And I love the ghost girlies. Don't get me wrong. But it's kind of weird how like a lot of the ghost girlies are not that it's weird it's not like there's nothing wrong with being elderly <laughs> or like older or anything like that there's just really nothing wrong with it but it's weird how it's typecast almost like you're either like an old woman a child or you might be Sabrina or Morty like it, you know it's just kind of weird that that's like there's like such a weird type I don't know but yeah I really need this Pokemon game so bad Hicks is here. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Hi, Madden. We're just trying to kick um, Sasha out. I wanted to villager hunt, but, you know, he doesn't want to leave. He just doesn't want to leave. He's holding on. I just want him out, you know? And even if we just kick him out and then just get to go to a few islands, that would be fun. All these leaves falling. Come on. And Maggie's in that cute little coat. Come on. And I'm missing it. I don't get to enjoy the fall with my friends because Sasha. All because of Sasha. Come on. Let's go. Okay, well, he's not in his house. So that's good. It's a good sign. Please, please. Oh my god, yeah, no, I love Scream 6. I think Scream 6 is awesome, actually, Clint. I really do. I love it. Sasha, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Sasha, you're leaving, right? You're like packing your bags as we speak, right? He was over there, he was over there. Okay, what, this way, like this way? where is he oh there he is there he is come on Sasha he's got sticks does that mean he doesn't want to leave come on hi cherry you look cute in that he's got sticks you guys that means he doesn't want to leave right he's got sticks Sasha get up no it's not super comfy it's not comfy for me yo this is driving me crazy Whatever, is there any little points I can get? He is clinging to this island. Aether, you're so right. Come on, oh, I gotta sell some fruit. I just have to, I can't miss out. Yeah, I can at least sell some fruit. I'm not gonna do any of the other shit, but I'll sell some fruit, sure. Sure, I'll sell some fruit. Sasha, it's like you just you start hating these people. If they, if they refuse to leave like this, they just, you know, it gets... Oh, it helps to ignore them. Okay, good to know. I just fucked it all up. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, I will never talk to him again then. I will literally never talk to him again. No, yeah, I know. I just, like, want to go on a villager hunt. Yeah, Amber, exactly. Stop being Eugene. Like, I want to go on a villager hunt for once in my life. Time, hi. I'm glad you could make it. I love you, bestie. Um, yeah, I just really want to go on a villager hunt. Call me crazy. Call me insane. It's like, that says a lot, you know? You know that I, that it's been a long time when I, like, actually want to go villager hunting. It's kind of been a while since Petri, I guess, right? I, like, want to go out there. But I guess, like, you know, if it doesn't happen now, I can at least do a video or something of a villager hunt. But, like, I just wanted to go on a villager hunt with you guys. But it's fine. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, I just got to, like, sell some of this fruit because I'm really going to get, like, times five points from it. And you know I need the points. Um, Brodini, no, we don't really have a target. Just like the, I think I was just like for fun, just cause like I know I have all these amiibos if I just need to fall back on them. I just wanted to go out and like pick the, like pick up like the first 
like scary villager that I found, you know what I mean? Just cause I wanted to just feel alive. So even if it was like a robot or some shit, I would just take them just for now. Cause it would just be so quirky and crazy if I did that, you know? Let's see, I just gotta like sell these fruits really quick. And then I can go to the next day. It's just ridiculous that I have to do this again. Like simply get the hell out of here. Oh, well, at least I have 20 tickets now. That's that's That was kind of my little goal. Oh my God, Green. <laughs> you can still go villager hunting for one villager. You can hunt Sasha for sport with an ax. You're so right. That might be what we have to do. That might be what we have to do. Oh my god, Gigi, I've been wanting that lance so bad. Oh, you got him? Good for you. Yeah, I've been waiting. I guess I wasn't on my on the ball on that one. I recently got the, the lance and dragonite figures, though. I, like, let myself, like, have them as a treat. So I got, like, that nice little lance and his dragonite figure. But I need I need the, um, the plush so bad. Yeah, yeah, Lance and his Dragonite are right in the middle of all my... Because I, like, have started collecting electric-type, like, figures. And then there's just randomly Lance and Dragonite. My boyfriend and his dog. Gotta, gotta have them. Anyway. Going to the next day. Crazy. Crazy that we have to do this. A part of me thought that this would be the case but I just didn't know you just never know you know but I have actually tried so hard like I tried so hard before the stream for like all day actually to kick Sasha out and he didn't leave I mean I didn't really know what I was doing but still oh Gigi that's gotta be yeah that has to be what I do is go on there and be like please notify me I always forget that you can do that yeah Hmm, Jen, that's a great question. What would Sebastian's Pokemon be? Definitely Dark type, I think, or maybe Steel type. Maybe Ghost type, actually. That was loud. Something like that. Oh, Sebastian could fill our void of like the Ghost type guy that we want. What do you guys think? Yeah, he would be an Umbreon guy for sure. Yeah, I see it. Or like a Corviknight guy, you know? Or wait, because oh, he loves frogs. So like Greninja? No. But he does love frogs. Just keep that in mind, please, that he loves frogs, you know? Oh, I can see him with a Gengar actually so bad. So, so much. Mayor, Lu <laughs> Mayor Lewis would have a gimme cool. <laughs> he really would. Oh my God, he really would. Yeah, he would have that like golden go guy. He really would. He'd be like, this guy's cool. I just think he's cool. I just think he's neat. <laughs> like, no, he's not. Shut up. Oh, international. Now it's already International Museum Day. Come on, dude. What? Come on. Yeah, if Sasha was a Pokemon trainer, he would be... Um, I'm trying to think of something insulting, but I can't. <laughs> like, I love all Pokemon, I guess, except for, like, what the... What do I always complain about? Um, who's a Pokemon I hate? Why can't I think of things? You guys know. Pokemon that I don't like? Come on. There's gotta be some. Like, some of those men, some of those grown men that are just walking around being, like, dudes. Something like that. Yeah! Yeah! Palafin hero form! Ow! Maggie, are you serious? Fucking Maggie, dude! It's Maggie this time, dude. Uh, come on. So Brodini, I love the um the little uh oh god what's his what's his name oh my god it's on the tip of my tongue the dilly bird one is that what is it oh god he's like a Furby he basically looks like a Furby um I'm just gonna leave because I'm that pissed off at Maggie right now he looks like a Furby so I like him and then what's the other one that I kind of like like I get that they're all robots but like there's some that are kind of okay. Hmm. Iron bundle. And I love the the word, like iron bundle. Like what is the bundle? Okay. Oh, because he's got this little pack probably. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of hilarious and funny. And he looks kind of like a Furby to me. And there was another one I think I liked. Um, what 
is it? I just can't remember anything. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely like that one. Um, oh, Provo Pass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I crunchy you said I don't know Pokemon and seeing names like Provo Pass and Golden Go is wild that's like Matt's reality did I just change the day that's how bad my memory is did I change the day let me know if I changed the day because I don't even know if I changed the day I'm like looking at it right now did I wow I can't believe it anyway um what was I going to respond to oh Akinaya um have I been to the Monterey Bay Aquarium yeah I went a couple years ago and it was awesome I loved it I really loved it so I love nose pass Ashley you're so right for that love nose pass please again let me know if I did change the day thank you Gigi okay because I just like didn't remember it even though it just happened isn't that remarkable but yeah Provo Pass is where I draw the line nose pass really won me over in um in legends arceus but probo pass will never it just no matter what if I, I could get my life saved by a probo pass and i'd be like please shave your mustache like why are you doing this to me like thank you but please don't do this um yeah i just don't know why he has to have that big mustache you know but pro- N- nose pass is, is is amazing. Nose pass did save my life several times actually. Um, Cooper, you will be disappointed to know that Sasha is still alive and well. We're just chilling, honestly, at this point. I don't know if we're gonna get a villager hunt out of this, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. I still got a couple, you know, a little while left in me, so we'll see. But yeah. I know I really do need Sherb's help at this point. I really do. I can't believe that like this is happening. Blair, exactly. We need to hunt him. Aw, Joanne, I love Chikorita too. I have a little Chikorita um, sitting cutie that I'm looking at right now. And she's just beautiful. I love her little ponytail. It was so cruel. Oh, it's Sasha's birthday today. Nice. Okay, so he's definitely not going to move out today nice cool 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 all right what was i gonna say oh it was so cruel of them in gen 2 to make us pick between chikorita cyndaquil and totodile that was cruel of them to do i remember that being very hard for me i think i did actually i did pick chikorita first even though i really love like a cyndaquil everybody's like having a barbecue you guys are having a barbecue for sasha's day for sasha. nobody's even attending this hey you guys set up a barbecue and you left it in the town square hello is this normal hello you guys you can't just leave it unattended whose barbecue is this is this normal hello you guys left your barbecue unattended your little shish kebabs Come on, you guys. <laughs> whose thing is, whose situation is this? Nice. Nice of you guys to do that. Really nice. Cool. All right. Yeah, I got to get out of here. Yeah, I will. Oh, good. Good to know. Good to know. I'll jump a week then, Caitlin. Thank you. They won't, they won't ask to leave on their birthday week. Wow. Very main character syndrome of you guys. Okay, I'm leaving. I don't want to do any of that. Here comes, here comes, uh, the, everybody's dressed to the nines today, I guess. Wow. Roscoe, was that your barbecue? Now you guys are coming back. He just pulled that out of his pocket. Wow. Now everybody's coming over to the barbecue. I saw that you guys left that there. Nice. Very nice. Oh my God. Cooper, I hope you find Lily for Renee too, because they need each other. They really do. Oh, I need to skip 30 days after birthday. Or Okay, well, I will do it then. I'll do it. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do 30 days. I'll get yelled at again. I don't care. I'm ready. I'm ready. Sure. Yeah, let's do a month. Cool. All right. I'm desperate, you know. I am desperate.
Just a Dragon. I actually love the name Sasha so much. It's like my f- top next favorite name for like a literal child. It's so so it's so funny that like I um don't that I'm like trying to get Sasha the villager out because like Sasha is like my favorite name now that I haven't used yet to name a literal child. Isn't that crazy? And if I had another kid, which I don't know if I will or not, I guess we'll see. But right now I'm just like, I can't love anybody as much as I love Jade. I think everybody feels that way. But anyway, you know, if it ever happened again and I named my kid Sasha, did you know, fun fact, I would have two children named after the Brats, after Brat dolls. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be kind of iconic? Pretty iconic. So I just kind of like that. So yeah, no, Sasha, definitely nothing against the name Sasha because I just love that name actually so much. And yeah, it's a Bratz doll. So if your name is the same as a Bratz, then you then it can't possibly be wrong or bad. So it's like every time I'm like, Sasha, please leave. I'm like, Ugh. like a little piece of me dies. <laughs> Gigi, I, know. I love that they were barbecuing on Sasha's birthday since he won't leave the house. Yeah, like they were all like just out having their own party. Like what did he do to them? It's crazy that it's June and it's snowing because I made this island in the other hemisphere for some reason. Um, it's just weird. It's just crazy that it's snowing in June. But I guess that's how it is in that uh, in that hemisphere, I guess crazy but it, it is what it is I guess wow so crazy so crazy you know hollow stars that's a good question which brass is my favorite I like really went through periods where all of them were like I was such a Chloe bitch in the beginning and then I, I yeah I just went through like a f- I think as soon as I got every single one I just love them all like because I love Yasmin I love Jade obviously love Jade I think Jade's probably my favorite, and that's like why I love that name. But there's a million reasons why I love that name. But also like Sasha, I love Sasha too, though. See, I just love them all. I love them all, and I love Chloe. I really do love Chloe so much. I love them all. Yeah, they are all. They all bring their own their own special thing to the table. You have the audacity to be doing that, to be working out like a little bitch what come on dude really he's like working out just working it out really <sighs> well that's disappointing awful awful news awful news and none of these i want to do come on sasha give it a thought give it a single thought you know the reason he doesn't have a thought bubble popping up is because he's He doesn't have any thoughts. His head is empty, you guys. You know? Yep. We're going. Going in the next day. But hopefully now that I did a month time jump, like maybe maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, you know? Whatever. We're chilling. We are just chilling, you know? I was always such a Polly Pocket bitch, too. I love Polly Pockets so much. Like, the the mid-sized ones, the ones that were, like, that had the, the plastic, chewy clothes. Why is it going so slow? Stop. Stop that. I love those Polly Pockets. I love them all so much. But it's, like, so weird. I don't even remember their names, really. What were their names? Like, there was Polly was the blonde girl, obviously. Polly, my girl. But then there was, like, a brown-haired girl. What was her name? And I just remember she had a boyfriend. The boyfriend was brown haired too, I think. Or no, she her boyfriend was Steve, right? Or was that was that was that a brat's boyfriend? Who was Steve the boyfriend? Who had Steve the boyfriend? Because Polly did have a blonde boyfriend, but then there was a Dylan, right? No, is this Bratz? <laughs> is Bratz Dylan <laughs> Dylan and Steve or something? Who's Dylan? Is Dylan Dylan's Bratz, I think. Um Oh, yeah, Lila, Chrissy, Shani. Yes, I remember them. Yep. Lila, I remember Lila. Yep, Lila was the ginger. Who is the brown-haired boy? Brandon? Maybe it was Brandon or something, something like that. But the Polly guys are always on, on, they just didn't impress me very much. Yeah, Dylan was Bratz. The Bratz boys, no thanks. No thank you. (laughs) Adam and Eve, not Dylan and Steve. (laughs) So true. 
so true so true yeah you guys better be ready to go come on dude let's move let's fucking go dude oh yeah littlest pet shop was awesome yeah me and my cousins would play that all day long and just like everybody else we would just be like having these stupid little bobblehead bitches with big eyes and we would be like trying to find the children that got kidnapped by the local serial killer you know and just like very serious shit happening to these littlest pet shop pets <laughs> you know i'd be like my sister was kidnapped by the clowns like <laughs> it's awful it was awful And there was so much drama. You guys know me, you know? Everybody did drama with their little pet shops. It was so easy. They were just asking for it, you know? They were just asking for it. Come on, now it's Ioni. Is this never gonna work? It's just never gonna work, is that right? Is that right? It's just never gonna work, right? Really? Just Ioni wants to leave now? Come on, tomorrow's gotta be the day, right? Tomorrow has got... What am I doing wrong? Like, what am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong, you guys? Am I doing something wrong? I've got to be doing something wrong, right? Take a stupid picture of your stupid friends and then get the hell out of there. I can never get to work. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Never. It doesn't work for, for folks like us, I guess. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You guys suck. I hate it here. I am out of here. I'm doing amazing. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. I'm glad I'm doing everything right. Because, like, sometimes you just go crazy and you're like am I putting all this effort into this and it's and I'm not even doing it right because you know me you guys have all seen me do that before you know that that is definitely something that I will do I'll do it yeah I will do it you know I really should stream with you guys more often because you would have never let me do that thing that I did when I was bringing Renee in where I kept building the wrong thing you would have never let me get that far never you know but it's okay. We're chilling. As long as you guys are having fun. I'm having fun. I don't even... Villager hunt who? Villager hunt when? Villager hunt where? You know? We're just chilling at this point. Oh my god. His name was Rick. You're so right, Mr. True Facts. You always have the facts. His name was Rick. That's why I thought it was Steve. His name was fucking Rick. Yeah. Polly Pocket's boyfriend was Rick. Yeah. It was fine. It's fine that your name, that your boyfriend's name is Rick, but it's just a little weird. You guys are like, what, teens? Teens that work at the mall and his name's Rick, really? Okay, Polly. Whatever you say, girl. I just think that you can do better, but it's fine. I have this one thing with Polly Pocket. Like, Polly Pocket was crazy in, like, my era where, like, they were releasing this, like, the stretchy clothes Polly Pockets because there was, like, a, I swear to God, I had, like, a dolphin truck or dolphin van or something where it was like there's a van and you pull it out Polly always had all these cars these vehicles where you'd pull them out and it would be like there was like a fashion show but it was like a bus or like a fashion like or like there was like a vet uh, uh, like our office that had like a pull out thing and it was like a car but then I think at one point she had like a traveling dolphin tank and there was a dolphin and it was like you would take out the dot like a dolphin tank and you fill it with water and stuff but it was in a vehicle you know so it's like where are you taking this poor dolphin <laughs> why is the dolphin in a, a car in a vehicle come on you know yeah <laughs> the limo with the hot tub oh yeah you know i had that pink limo with the hot tub i can see it now i can see the girls sitting in the hot tub <laughs> i really can and they're driving around and the limo is pink i think and um and they really are just so rich so 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 rich yeah crazy stuff crazy stuff and i had a poly poggy like horse ranch i loved her horse ranch and her like pretty little horse she had like a nice cute little palomino horse i forget her name it was like buttercup or something sasha dude he's just sitting there singing Shh. 
Should I leave? I guess I should leave, right? Yeah, I gotta go. I just gotta go. I gotta go. Yep, I gotta go. Yeah. He's really just planted firmly. I guess I gotta, oh, it's five times if I talk to people. I'm not talking to Sasha though, don't worry. I'll talk to Cherry. Oh, I remember the hum Hummer limo too, Tiffany. Yeah, the Hummer. I do remember, oh man, yeah. It was like bigger. The hot tub was deeper on the Hummer limo. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Roswell, whatever. Don't make a big deal of it. Come on. What are you listening to? What the hell are you listening to? That was weird. That was kind of cool, actually. I gotta go back and figure out what he was listening to because I need that for my alien area, actually. What was that? I've never heard that song before. Ivy, you're so right. He's really made me wait until the middle of winter. He made me miss all of fall. I'm like, come on. What are you listening to? Y'all, what is this song? What is that? Nobody wants to tell me? Oh, KK Kumi. Okay, Kumai. Okay, noted. KK Kumai. Oh, he did say it? Okay, I just, you know, I, I don't read anything. I never read anything. Yeah, cool. Cool. <laughs> I just thought he was like, oh, yeah, I'm just chilling. Sasha? I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry, Petrie. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was the time I hit, you hit on me, and, like, I just hope that you know it wasn't about that. I really hope that you don't think that it was because of that. Like, I hope you'll do it again. Yeah, Sasha changed outfits. You're right, Mr. Trufax. What the hell? That was wrong. That was wrong of, of him to do. Anyway, I'm out of here yet again. When will my suffering end? When will it end? Rihanna, you're right. That was the sounds of the mothership. Exactly. That's why I just was like, what? what is this? And then apparently he told me and I was like, thanks for not telling me. Thanks a lot. I'm like losing my mind, dude. Sasha, why are you doing this to me? I thought we were like friends. That's the thing. Oh, Tiffany would be so awesome. Tiffany would be awesome, actually. I hope I find Tiffany. I really hope I find Tiffany, actually. <laughs> Sasha, stop slaying and be slayed. For real. No, yeah, Tiffany would be incredible, actually, because she really is like a femme fatale. She really is like a killer stripper she really is like um a um just a like black widow you know she's like the type of bitch that will kill you and she will make it look like an accident actually no actually she'll make it look like a murder she'll like she'll be like kissing kate barlow too and she'll like kiss you on the cheek you know she'll do it she'll do it all she'll pull out all the stops she will be like every every iconic killer wrapped into one she really will so um she won't make it look like an accident she'll make sure that you know that it was her actually and she'll just never get caught actually is what she'll do yeah i need tiffany to come in here actually right now yeah <laughs> tiffany has a calling card exactly she leaves like a card she leaves like a like a lipstick she leaves like a signature she just totally makes it hers and they're like oh no the like hot baddie murderer strikes again you know the like the mothman baddie i don't know what they would call her but yeah they would they would revere her they would revere her yeah tiffany is the type to kill a serial killer she's gonna like lure the serial killers in she's like dexter but she's like a she's like a stripper version of dexter morgan you know She's like Dexter if Dexter lured 
Like, so, he's just not gonna go. He's not going anywhere. It's Cherry's trying to go. Cherry. Oh my God. Can you believe it? It's gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be tomorrow. I just feel it. She's the Mothman mommy. <laughs> Actually, that's so good. Yeah, that's so good. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, still, still nothing. That's just my luck. It's either, I either have the best luck ever or like the absolute most shit luck anyone could ever have you know definitely jennifer from jennifer's body though you guys are so right when you say that about tiffany so true and marina too is kind of giving that a little i love that movie i'm glad people are finally realizing that it's a great awesome good movie because it's so good as soon as i saw it i was like this is a masterpiece right and everybody's like no i was like did we watch the same fucking movie it's so good Ash, we are not doing well with kicking this stupid villager out. We're trying to kick Sasha out, and he just refuses to leave, even though I'm doing everything right, apparently. But we're st we're chilling. We're still chilling. Yeah. Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> Sasha plus slaying equals sashaying. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so just simply sashay away. Sasha is what I'm is what I'm asking humbly at this point really come on <laughs> oh my god Mr. Truefax we're gonna go meet her yeah introduce you to someone you're gonna love her name is Shino go meet her with a knife yeah yeah do I have any other option you know I don't have any other option. I have no other choice. You've left me no choice. I tried to do it the easy way, you know? Yeah, Sasha really does leave tomorrow on you. <laughs> you got the, the like, <laughs> hypnotizing emojis. Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh, Aether, yeah. She know nothing on Mothman, but uh, quite a lot on uh, Malachi, yeah, she know. Where do I even start? Shino stole Kyle from me on my birthday, actually. Yeah. Oh, we got a campsite villager. Cool. Something to live for. Awesome. Yeah, he really does need a visit from his lazy BFF, Sher Sherby. You're so right, Ashley. So right. Oh, if Tiffany's the campsite villager, Ivy, she's staying. Yeah, I will really beg her to stay yeah where's sasha come on sasha like please come on please 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 what are you doing what are you doing no and i'm talking to him i wasn't supposed to talk to him fuck shit dude i suck at this game fuck my life whatever whatever who's this please cheer me up come on Come on, please don't be something horrible. Come on. Come on, please, please, please. What? Who the hell even is that? Stop. Don't piss me off. What? Come on, dude. Fine. Like, she's kind of, is it with that Robin? She's fine. She's all right. But, like, that's not what I needed in that moment. I'm out of here. Wait, is there any easy points? Come on, dude. Like, what? Okay, like, let me just, like, redeem a Nook Miles ticket real quick to get, like, some points, you know? But, yeah, my luck right now... I hate you, you motherfucker. Yeah. Did I just fuck it up by talking to him? Probably, right? Petrie, get him out of here. Come on. Do something. Don't just stand there. Do something. You see me just running back and forth. You guys are just sitting here, watching idly by. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's gonna be the day. It has to be. It has to be. No, yeah, we've been like faithfully doing this for two hours. It's crazy. It's insane. I'm sorry, but also I'm having a blast too. I just love talking to my friends, so I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm complaining, actually. I am complaining. I'm definitely complaining a lot. I just want to know why Sasha hates me. It's 
like my biggest question. Yeah, tomorrow's definitely the day. Tomorrow's the day. For sure. Get me out of here. Yeah, everybody manifest tomorrow. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh no, Amber, Sasha is Cody's revenge. Kind of, kind of a little. Yeah, if it doesn't happen for us, then I guess I'll just have to like do it off camera and then um, we'll just have to do a villager hunt <laughs> next time I stream, I don't know. I might just have to stream again like kind of soon. I mean, I'm going to Massachusetts for like a week, but um, you know, once I get back, I'm gonna be like streaming. Maybe I'll just do two streams that week, you know? And maybe I'll just have no choice but to do two streams. Did it save? It did save, right? Yeah, it did. It must have, right? It did. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, it's going to be tomorrow. It has to be. It simply has to be. You're going to make me do this for three hours with no results? Yeah, I can only do this for so much longer because I have to pee really bad, actually. So, And I still have to edit my video. So... Let's give it another, like, 15 minutes, you know? And if he's just not out of there, then... Because, like, we don't even have any time to villager hunt, so, you know... Did I change the day? <laughs> I did, right? I did. Yeah, I did. I remember it. Somehow. Miraculously. Yeah, this might be the... I think this is... I think I'm just going to cap it at this. I think this is going to be my last time checking. And if he's not trying to move, then I'm just going to say fuck it, and we're just going to chill. And I'm just going to get my points, get my little points up, and then I'll do it off camera. And we'll do a villager hunt next time I stream, I guess, you know. But it's fine. It's fine. We tried. We tried, you know. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> the word tomorrow really will haunt me. Yeah. It's, but it, it, might, it might be. You know, I might come in there and they might be, he might be packing his shit. That's why it's taken so long to load. It's because he's packing his shit right now. Please, yeah, hex him. Thank you, Gigi. Just do everything you can. Everything you have your have the power to do. <laughs> Amber, we really gave it the old college try. We really did. Just a dragon. I agree. It's still been a fun stream, though. It was a really, it's been a really fun stream, actually. I got to talk about fish. I got to talk about Pokemon hotties. We got to talk about lots of stuff. Shut up. No, I did, I did not just tell Isabel to shut up. I'm sorry, Isabel. I'm just in a bad mood. I was going to say shut up, but I just I stopped myself mid-sentence. Isabel, keep talking. I know this is your job, girl. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was so toxic of me. I'm just so worn down, you know, that I don't want to hear it from anybody. Yes, Cooper. I love Olivia, too. Uh, Olivia is such a baddie. A Pokemon baddie. Such a Pokemon baddie. Yeah. Come on. KK Slider. Okay, fine. Yeah, I guess it's not happening. Whatever, Sasha. Yeah, make yourself at home, Sasha. Whatever. Fuck Sasha, am I right? Yep. Yeah, Sasha's just not leaving. I'm going to go buy some sweaters for the emos. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, Elisa. Oh, my God, you're so right, Gigi. Obviously, you know I love her. You know I love her. Yeah, it's not going to happen, guys. Sorry, we'll just have to have, you know, next time. We will just have him already going, already packed his bags, and we will definitely get a villager hunt for sure. And it won't be like a will I, won't I, you know? But yeah, yeah, Elisa is actually my best friend, like one of them in my headcanon. Actually, I don't even know why I didn't think of her. Yeah, KK, I guess when KK Slider's in the town square, nobody moves out. I guess that's like a thing. Yeah, yep, I'm just spending away the pain. You're right, Seth. <laughs> yep. I mean, if he doesn't, then, oh, if he, oh, really? For some reason, I really thought that I had heard that he does. But if he doesn't, then fuck yeah. Let's go look. I'm out here, like, trying to, trying to do retail therapy when I should be out there seeing if he's trying to move okay excuse me ladies i gotta go <clears throat> main characters always go shopping when they're sad it's so true it's so true yep sasha 
What if he was really trying to go? Nope, he's fucking fishing, you guys. Meanwhile, Cole is sending a chill down my spine. He's lurking in the forest. Hopefully he's trying to get Sasha. That would be nice, but... <clears throat> If not, you know, whatever, whatever. We tried, we tried, we tried, we failed. I don't usually fail, so it's just a little weird for me. I guess I'll catch five bugs. Sure, I'll catch five bugs. I'll at least make it worth my while. I'll get some points for the day while we wrap up. But yeah, I just don't think I have it in me to do any more, you guys. Because then I just don't even have time to villager hunt now, you know. But I will catch five bugs. That's something I will do. What else do you guys want to talk about as we near the end? Yeah, I cannot believe Sasha did this. I really, he embarrassed me on live TV. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. You know, I just thought it was going to be easier than that. I just had a feeling. Look at Cherry out here doing like an emo concert on a rock in the snow at the ocean. Cherry, really? Okay. Look at you on a rock near the ocean in a music video. That's fine, Cherry. That's just fine if you want to do that. Perfect. Perfect, Cherry. Thank you. Thank you, Cherry. It's amazing. She found a stage. She really was like, okay. <laughs> That's a stage. She found a stage. I know. Where is her man? Roscoe, you're just sitting in, in your house. Dumbass. Get out here. I'm going to drag him out here right now. Come on. He's not even here. He's just not... What are you doing? What are you doing? Well now, mortal. Been a while. No, shut up. A chin wag? What are you... What? No. You're avoiding your girlfriend. What are you talking about? And his voice every time. What? He's like telling me he finally showered or something. He really is a member of my chemical romance and also he really is a vampire so like vampires don't really need to shower that's kind of a thing you better get out here though seriously cherry's doing something incredible yeah nobody came to cherry's show i find that hard to believe this is the sound check this is simply the sound check that's why nobody's here you know that's it Devin, that's a great question. What animal species would you pick to become a new Animal Crossing villager? Uh, it's always going to be bat, I think, always, because I just love bats, as you know, but also I think, oh wait, I don't want to go up here because it's a new build that I'm working on that's like coming out really well that I don't want to spoil. Anyway, yeah. Oh, oh, there's a butterfly. Come here, you. I need five bugs. Yeah, the bat villagers would change my whole life. It would change my whole life. I really would. Okay, I need four more bugs. Come on. Yeah, the sharks would be cute too, as villagers, honestly. Or like a whale villager, that would be really cute. Kind of like a Wardell style type thing, like because Wardell's really, really cute. They did a good job bringing like a fully aquatic mammal in into villager form with Wardell. Hey, KK, do you realize that you ruined my whole life today with this decision, with your selfish decision to come here today? Come on. I wish the villagers could swim too. It's crazy. Marina, are you mad at me? Oh, sorry, God. I just really had no choice. I'm going to pick up shells just in case they want me to do the shells, you know? Um, but I just really can't believe that Sasha did this. And also, where's all the bugs? Like, I know it's winter, but like... Oh, there's a bug. Are you kidding me? Where is this bug? Stop it. There we go. There we go. I hope that Cole is taking care of Sasha Ivy. I really do. Oh, lungfish. I love lungfish. I just love a lungfish. That'd be a cute little villager. Gotta love a lungfish. Come on, where's all the bugs? I'm just gonna pick up shells in case they ask me for shells. Oh, wombats and platypuses. I agree. Oh, I love wombats so much. Wombats are so cute. Oh, really? Come on. I guess I can, like, let these bugs go. Or whatever. Can I let this fish go? I don't need that. 
Yeah, let some of these fish go. Why not? Give them a second chance at life. Sure. Uh, the otters would be so cute because they do otters pretty pretty well because we have some otters and stuff. Yeah, release. And they're always cute. It's like, why do they give us NPCs of certain things, but they don't give us villagers of, of those things? You know, it's kind of weird. Kind of odd, kind of weird, kind of puzzling. Oh my god, an ostrich that looks like a cassowary? That's such a good idea, GG. Oh my god. I would die if that happened. Yeah, I think like, um, you know, what's his name? Uh, uh, Corey, uh, what's his name? Pas Pascal that we just saw. And then also um, Lottie and uh, Lyle are otters, right? There are lion villagers, Lucian, yeah. Yeah, like, um, who's a lion? Um, like that guy that likes the toilets and stuff. Yeah, those guys. Where's all the bugs at? Let me check for wharf roaches. They're probably not even out at this time. <laughs> Aw, Taylor, I'm glad you caught the stream. And I'm glad you're enjoying Animal Crossing. I, uh, I would say I'm enjoying it, but Gosh, this is not a cozy game for me, is it? Look at you just looking in there at, at a murder scene. That's kind of sick. It's a little bit sick, Roswell, but you do you, I guess. Where's the other bugs at? Where's all my bugs at? I thought it was going to take two seconds for me to catch five bugs, but... Really proving to be a challenge. KK's just sitting there, smiling away, as if he didn't just ruin my life. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anybody got any bugs? What else can I be doing? Just trying to get some points on my way out, you know? Assess fossils, okay. I can do that. Um, I can customize and build some shit, maybe. The turtle villagers would be so cute, yeah. Oh, there's another bug, but he's gonna go across, yeah. Uh, come here, guy, nope, too late. Wow, bugs are hard to come by in the winter, huh? Dang. Just like plowing through here. This bug's probably gone, long gone. Where's the bug at? Has anybody seen a bug? Have you guys seen a bug around here anywhere? What should I do to get a bug? <laughs> yeah. Aw, sea bunny villagers. That'd be cute. That'd be really cute. Good night, so, 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 ma, so mu. I'm sorry, I just, every, I always, my first attempt is always an absolute mess because letters come at me hard and fast. Soul mu, good night. <laughs> Thanks for joining the stream. Um, where is the bugs? Anybody know? Maybe I can craft some shit. I don't know if I have any, um, oh yeah, flowers. Good idea, JG. Good idea. Oh, uh, wait. I know. I think there is a polar bear villager, isn't? Um, what's her name? Tutu is a polar is a polar bear, right? Come on, you, you little shit. I know you're not supposed to chase him, but I don't care. I'm pissed. I got him. I got him. Cool. That's three down, two to go. Yeah, it does. It's a shame that the only polar bear is quite scary. You're right. You are so right. Katie asks, that's a great question. What species, what extinct species would I bring back if I could bring one back? Hmm, it's a tough one for me to answer because like I, I'm like so weird about like the de-extinction efforts because I just think that like we need to focus on like preserving species that are still here because it's so much effort. But like if I could just snap my fingers and just do it and there would still be like a place for them in the wild. You know, because then again, like, if you bring back a bunch of extinct species, too, like, they've been kind of phased out of their, you know, just having so much knowledge, it's, uh, it, it sours it for you. Because you're like, wait, what, will they be, will you be, like, able to acclimate them back into the, into the wild and blah, blah, blah. Like, no, Amanda, just, like, what would you want to see? Come on. Obviously, I would love to see dinosaurs. Like, of course, like, my childhood self is, like, begging me to say a dinosaur, even though I have all these other, like, obscure answers. I love thylacines a lot. 
I would love to see one. That's kind of like the the like the answer that everybody would give because that's kind of like the the most popular extinct animal that people want to see come back or like they want to believe is still out there which I don't think they are um honestly like I'm just like inclined to say like Rab's fringe limbed tree frog because like I was so close to that case and <clears throat> worked with species that are so st similar to that and I have such a love for that frog and then there's like the gastric brooding frog which I think is such an amazing species that we just let go extinct and I can't believe it still or the golden toad which is another species that I just like there's just so many cool frog species that we like literally squandered that it were, n were that were unlike anything else in the world and they're just gone and it's crazy um the dodo is actually like something I love and think is so cool and would love to, to have seen because it's just a, such a unique bird as well as the, um, <coughs> what is it? Um, why can't I think of the name? The big bird. Why can't I think of it? The big bird. You guys know what I'm talking about. The big bird that I love. Why am I forgetting this bird that I love? Oh my God. Anyway, you, somebody's going to say it and I'll be like, yeah, the moa. Exactly. Alimatronic D air. Yes. The moa. Yep. And then, um, what else? You know, I just love dinosaurs so much. I would love to, like... Because then I'm like, oh, if I could just do anything, like, why don't I just bring back Quetzalcoatlus? Not a dinosaur, but still. Um, you know, like, a just an amazing fucking crazy dinosaur that we would have no play... Like, not, again, not a dinosaur. Why did I say dinosaur? A um, pterodon-type thing. Flying reptile. That's a better word. Just use that, Amanda. Because people have to know that you know that they're not a dinosaur um because people that you know some people are like it's not a dinosaur and it's like i know that but sometimes you call things dinosaurs by accident okay anyway flying reptile catacolis but like where would we fucking put it like where would he go <laughs> you know i just want to see one but i think that the cool big models of catacolis are enough for me um because i just love a lot of big dinosaurs you know, so I'm like, oh, I want to see big dinosaurs, but we don't have room for them anymore. We don't have any. Why did I catch the snowflake? Why? And I'm not swapping it with anything. I don't need it. My brain's like working overtime trying to think of like dinosaurs that I love. Like I love raptors so much. I love all types of raptors, especially. Oh, wait, no, we're not going up there. We're not going up there. Stop shaking trees. Like I love all types of raptors. I love the little ones. I love the, the big ones. But, oh my god, and, oh my god, yeah, Tenma Spondles, actually, I just landed on the Tenma Spondles, and now that's what I'm going to decide to bring back, definitely, um, Coolasuchus would be amazing, or, uh, what's the big boy that I'm thinking of? I just, like, forget everything. If you think of the big Tenma Spondle that I'm thinking of, just say it. But yeah, big ancient amphibians from the Permian era is what I'm going for here. <laughs> I think that that would be the best choice for society, actually. I need to drop something so I can catch this this bug. Yeah, I don't need my pinball machine in my pocket right now, do I? Did I catch enough bugs, actually? No, I didn't. I think I need one more. My brain is not working right now. Come on. How could you do this? There you go. There you go. Oh my God, Bumbum, I need to check it out. Where did you put it? Did you put it in a Twitter or... Ah, oh, Prianosuchus. I love Prianosuchus too. Yeah. Why am I not... It's like the simple... It's like a big guy. Just like the poster boy for uh, for a Tenmo Spondyl. So yeah, Prianosuchus is the one that looks like a croc. I'm thinking of just... It's kind of like Kulosuchus, but it's shorter. Why can't I think of it? It's crazy. Okay, I will check Instagram after this and check it out because I can't wait to see it. I love fan art, especially if it's of me and Anka. Who do we got next? Who do we got next? Um, and by who? I'm not doing this groups. I don't. I can, don't have. I simply don't have it in me. But I do need to do it actually because if I do like two more, then I get tons of points. So, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Diplocalis would be cool too. You know, I love Dipicolis. Mm -mm -mm. I 
can't believe I can't think of this silly Tenma Spondle. Horseshoe crab for like, um, to bring it back. Because horseshoe crabs are still around, bestie. Amazingly. But horseshoe crab villager would be awesome. I love horseshoe crabs so much. I love them. Definitely one of my favorite animals. Hi, Kaylee. I'm glad you made it to the stream. We're kind of a little bit wrapping up, but... Oh, yeah, as a villager. Sick. That would be awesome. I love horseshoe crabs. You have good taste in animals. I think I'm going to do... Yeah, we didn't do a hunt, actually, Michelle. Uh, Sasha didn't leave, and we tried. Y'all better tell Michelle how hard we tried, because boy, did we. We tried. We really did try. We just tried and tried and tried and tried for three hours, and he just didn't leave. So I'm just going to try off camera, and we'll just do a villager hunt next stream or something, or like a video. But yeah, we're just chilling. We just chilled, you know? I mean, I certainly did try. Boy, did I. It's not not for lack of trying but Sasha really held us hostage yeah as Ashley said yeah it was kind of insane but we had fun we had fun we did Devin great question again any dream animals you would love to keep as a pet thanks for asking um let's see right now like I'm excitedly like planning my little saltwater aquarium so I'm excited to get some of those guys going but there's um let me think why did I just forget oh yeah I've always wanted a mantis shrimp and that would definitely not be probably something that would have put in like a big reef tank or anything I would probably do like my own little like perfect perfectly suited for a mantis shrimp tank you might have like some tank mates but it would mostly be just like suited for like to keep a mantis shrimp because they're interesting to keep but um yeah I've always wanted a mantis shrimp really bad and I would love to make that happen someday and then I would love to to have um like a, a cowfish again like a longhorn cowfish whenever I get to a point where I think I'm confident enough to do that I gotta figure out my flag still can you believe it's June and there's a snowman outside of Nook's Cranny that's just crazy to me <clears throat> anyway um yeah like a, a box fish or not a not just a box fish well actually I love all box fish but especially a longhorned cowfish and then a porcupine puffer. I love porcupine puffers too. They're just like the, the cutest fish in the world. But you know, they take a lot of preparation and a lot of confidence to keep first. So I would just want to make sure that I just am feeling good about it before I go for it. But yeah, that's like what I'm thinking. What is this? I should probably buy it, right? If I don't know what it is. Mm hmm. Yeah, Sasha really didn't leave, you guys. I can't believe it. Still, I'm like, I'm like just thinking about how that happened. Oh, yeah, my pockets are full. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Cameron, you're going to get your first pet snake soon? Um, yeah, lots of advice. It just depends on the species that you choose. Um, you know, make sure to just research a bunch of different species that... Um, that are popular pets that are available to you like in your area and just try to find a good breeder don't don't go to like a pet shop I would definitely recommend trying to find a good breeder in your area or um, going through a rescue and stuff and just making sure that the rescue that you go through knows and there's not a lot of reptile rescues in everybody's area so that's not always an option the breeders will be good if like if it's a good breeder who has like good reviews and like is reputable um because not every breeder is the same but lots of like it, you could tell if, if it's a good snake breeder if they are willing to like be there for you long after you buy the snake from them and they're willing to make sure that they give you like a card of like all the meals that they've had so that you know how they've been eating and um you know if you're going to buy a baby snake then you need to make sure that they've had some meals and they're like established eaters because sometimes a baby snake will like you know hatch or be born or whatever and then they just won't eat well and so um it's important to make sure that they're not just trying to sell baby snakes like that aren't established any good breeder will just will, won't even sell a baby snake until they're really eating well and they're established and they're a good weight and stuff so you can always tell a good breeder if like 
they give you a big card of like all the meals that they've had and they tell you like when they were born and you know their parents and stuff and like just all the information about them that you can get um because good breeders of snakes will keep like a lot of notes and they'll write down every feeding that they have and what they ate and all that and when they go to the bathroom and then another thing a good breeder will do is like make sure that you have all the information to keep them the right way so like if somebody's just willing to sell you a snake and they don't care that you have a setup and they don't care if you've ever kept the species before and they don't care if you didn't ask any questions or anything then um then that's not a good breeder like a good breeder is going to always want their animals to go to a good home so your breeder is going to want you to ask lots of questions and then a good breeder is always going to be there too so they'll give you like their number or their contact information and then if you have any problems with your animal that you got from them they want you to reach out to them and let them help you if they can um, like if they're not eating or if they're just acting weird or something so that's probably the best thing to do for any snake and then obviously just do your research and try to pick a species that that it seems like it's right for you and your lifestyle and stuff and uh and um, yeah, if you do go through a rescue, a lot of rescues will, you know, just let a rescue know that it's, this is your first snake. I don't know why I didn't sell all those bugs. I don't know why I didn't sell the bugs. Anyway, yeah, just let the rescue know that like, this is my first snake. So just like, I'm looking for like one that you think would be good for a first time snake owner. Cause a lot of the time rescues have animals that are pretty complex. Like they've been through a lot. So they might need like a, like a more, experienced keeper to help get their weight up and help get them healthy again so just let them know like hey i'm just looking for like a like a, a healthy snake as like a pet for like my first pet because obviously everybody i think wants to go through a rescue first and that's the best way to do it but you know there's not always good snakes in rescues for beginners and there's not always rescues everywhere too look at you guys at least cherry's coming to sit with her boyfriend are you gonna sit right next to your boyfriend cherry are you are you or like around your boyfriend at least there you go that works that works and then marina obviously just has to be sitting as close to or well she put the one seat in between them to not make it awkward but she's pretty close to ka slider because you know her you know her um nikki yeah the mantis shrimp is the one that sh that punches through shit like really really hard yeah so you have to have like a you want to get like a really sp like a special tank and stuff like that even though I've heard from a lot of people that they've never heard of an instance of a mantis shrimp punching through a tank, but still, you just don't want that to happen because it would be a disaster if they did. Um, comfy pajamas. I would say that rhino rat snakes probably aren't a good species for beginners. They're just, they're pretty complex. It's hard to find captive bred rhino rats, and then they're, um, I hate to say aggressive, they're very defensive most of the time, and then they can be kind of... Um, they can be kind of uh, finicky with their eaters and then they need a really big enclosure because they're really arboreal. So they need a lot of, of um, like branches and like a lot of space to climb and stuff like that. So rhino rats are really, really gorgeous though. They're really awesome. But, um, but they just need a lot, you know. So I would recommend something a little bit easier. But if you're wanting to like eventually keep them, then there's, like, there's arboreal species, like, like other rat snakes and stuff, a lot of other col colubrids that you can, that you can get practice on like, tr tr um, keeping arboreal species and stuff like that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna probably wrap it up soon. I'm just kind of trying to catch up with the chat, but, um, but I'm glad that you guys are all having fun, even though we didn't get freaking Sasha out. I'm just so pissed about that but we had fun we still had fun didn't we <laughs> um oh yeah no pom-pom is on the other island don't worry about pom-pom yeah drogo um this is mothman so yeah pom-pom is safe and sound yep um but yeah we had a fun time even though we didn't accomplish our goal that just means that next time i'm just gonna have that bitch gone you'll never have to look at him again because of what he did to us yeah look at him standing there in his fucking jacket was he texting or something? No, he's fishing. Ugh. But yeah, this was so much fun. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me and for loving me, even though I didn't kick out anybody and didn't hunt or anything. Next time I'll have uh, more tickets too. So we'll get to go on a long hunt and just lose ourselves to that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you next time.